and we're going to put a marker right here for our awesome archive team that have been over getting into the game. We're going to tab over to this screen, and as I'm setting up the music, allow me to say once again that my internet's not working. It's still not working. I've been trying to get it fixed. I've been working one-on-one -on -one with everybody that I need to get in contact with, and it's just not coming together. I'm going to keep you guys apprised, but until then, we're going to play some FOM. When last we left our heroes, they had arrived at Ker Deneval. Who is echoing? Gamzee is echoing. They had arrived at Ker Deneval, and immediately they were set upon by more Rhymeborn and some odd tank-like turret things that drove off the Rhymeborn with some impressive, uh, I don't even know what to call it, artillery, I guess? And then the artillery promptly turned on the party, which I'm sure they didn't enjoy nearly as much. And during their flight away from said artillery, they managed to realize that it was a bunch of lunar devils, which Lash promptly killed. Well, one of them, anyway. The party ran across open ground, avoiding radiant lunar fire, and stormed into an inn at the top of the hill by the name of the Uphill Climb. We cut to the party inside with their mounts around the back. The devils long since retreated. After hearing that apparently the party was here to spe see the speaker, uh, from the lips of, apparently, the innkeeper by the name of Rourke. We left off pretty much there, with an empty inn, a fire burning, and a very out-of-breath party taking stock of the situation with a human by the name of Rourke. He's dressed kind of like a lumberjack. He's got uh, reddish-brown hair. He's got, um, like, a red uh, flannel shirt on and some, like, cotton or, or denim uh, pants, big heavy boots. Uh, the inn is empty and dark. He looks hungry and, and tired, um, but he's, you know, he's glad to see you all the same. And from there, I think very immediately, the floor is going to be all of yours. So, what would you guys like to do as I grab... And the last, and the last thing he said of the session last was, "Welcome to the uphill climb." I think Kilio's immediate response was, "Like, damn right it was." Yes, that was it. Here we go. This is what I wanted. So yeah, we we cut to you guys like in the inn, maybe like setting setting chairs around a fire as Rourke goes over to the, the bar to, like, help you guys get what you need. Um, and, and he's, like, he's nodding at, at all of you, like, taking, taking your measure. Uh, he doesn't look askance at Dawn or Guiding Wind and, and um, Iron Gate, but he definitely doesn't focus on them either. Um, and he says, like, a good show coming up here. Is that loud for you guys, or is my my thing just loud? Yeah, it's a little loud. Thought so. There we go. Yeah, but, I was about to turn mine down. I thought it was just loud. A good yeah, show yeah. coming up here. Those things are driving away all the trade. To say nothing of the blockade in the channel. What are supplies. they? Couldn't say. I just know they're not from around these parts. They came with the... I've said too much. They came with what? And like, puts a hand up to you and he says... There are... things at work in this town that I can't easily speak of. Is there anyone who can? Someone not from around here? I know they're those. fiends. That's about it. Oh. So those native to the town are under a power against words. Duress, more accurately. A hostage yeah. situation. 
Seems more like a siege to me. We are free to come and go as we please, but with the inclement weather, the bitch on the owl, and the blockade, as I mentioned previously, there's nowhere to go. Mostly all we can do is sit and starve. We're ignored, for the most part, so long as we don't bring vigilantes and cell swords down on the heads of... That's all I can say. It is enough. Well, we... Well, we brought food and water. Seems like you lot could use it. If I could, I would offer you a prince's ransom for them. But, uh... Business isn't great at the moment. I can offer you Can't some ale. imagine it would be. Not a lot, but some. Around. Sure. If trade some able. food for some ale. A worthy trade, certainly. If you are able to leave, come and go freely, are you able to move throughout the town as you wish? Before sunset, hi. What time is it now? I mean, the moon was high overhead. Yeah. When you, yeah, it's the middle of the night. So it's late as fuck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Cat, what the fuck? I told we'll you have no. sunlight here. It comes and goes. I was, I was about to ask if it's uh, literally sun up or just darkness. We haven't seen the sun in many moons. We haven't seen the moon either in a while, aside from tonight. Too much cloud cover. Consider yourselves lucky. Those... things. The watchdogs. Are stronger in moonlight. A great deal stronger in moonlight. I think they're doing something, or their... masters are doing something to keep the clouds at bay. Any idea on who brought them? I know precisely who brought them, but I can't tell you. Can you tell us where we can find them? You'll find them if you go speak with the speaker. Perfect. But in the meantime... I've got rooms, and you all look tired. The doctor should tend to that arm of yours. Thank you. So there is a doctor in town. Aye, not native, but she's been around since the um, outbreak, let's say. A Ganassi woman. That's right. Good. I need to speak with her. Make yourself comfortable down here. I'll have your pints pulled and... Go and see if she's still awake. I'm not going to wake her for some travelers off the street. But if she'll hear you, that's her decision. Like, makes a bunch of, like, pints of ale and lays them out on the counter and, and heads over to the stairs. Gives you all a nod and, and heads up. You guys have a moment to talk amongst yourselves if you like. He left some ale on the counter? Correct. Okay, yeah, it's gonna go over and... Take one. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pint of ale. It's not... It doesn't smell great. Ale is ale. Ale is ale. Can Lash drink through her helmet or not particularly? I think you could. Yeah, I think Lash will drink without taking the helmet off. Okay. The, the Spider-Man retraction. Also a thing you could do, yeah. Mm. Just flip the visor up real quick. Mm -hmm. you have All right. Conversations you want to have? Well, I guess we're going to talk to the speaker tomorrow. Figure out what the hell that was about. Oh, well, according to Scout, these things are some kind of fiend. Couldn't tell you more than that, though. A fiend? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't never... know about fiends. Whatever it was, my arrows didn't do anything to it. Make a religion check. Given the fact that the the townsfolk are free to move about, I wouldn't be surprised if someone here struck some sort of bargain. 
Um, with that role, Lash, there are, like, there's a classification of entities called fiends. They're generally on the stronger end of the spectrum, and they're not from around here. Nothing useful to add from Lash, so she just kind of makes a note of that to herself. Mm -hmm. I want to roll religion too, is that alright? Yeah, sure. I'll give you War Banner. God damn it. Okay. Um, with a Goblin 20, you've got five questions. What do you want to know? <sighs> okay. Uh, Figure out only specified fiends, so... Well, Scout said Stygian fiends. Yeah. That's the word I was looking for. So, uh... What do I know about Stygia? Stygia is the sixth circle of hell. Uh huh. It's ruled over by the prince who I can never remember the name of. Levistus, I Levistus, believe. Levistus, thank you. Um, he's a god of pestilence, basically. Uh huh. Well, these things are certainly pests. So, uh, all right, that's about Stygia. Mm -hmm. So, presumably, then these are devils. Yes, almost certainly. Yeah. Do I know anything in particular about the ones we encountered? Um, you know, they turn invisible, they can teleport, they're ethereal. They mm -hmm. can shoot radiant damage. Um, they're smart. They can talk. Um, like, it specifically says in the lore about these things that they're very fringe. So I don't think so. Uh-huh. Okay. And something here is competing with Oral. Yeah. Uh, more questions, more questions, fuck. If you don't have anything else, it's cool. You could also, well, there's the possibility you could ask who's in charge of Stygia. Or legendarily in charge of Stygia. We know that already, Levistos. Fair. Yeah. Well, if you can't pin down how to deal with these specifically, maybe how to deal with fiends in general? I mean, yeah, what are... Tactics normally used on devils. Silver, magic, radiant, damage does a lot. Law does a lot. War bacon, apparently. <clears throat> yeah, uh, because they're creatures of law, aren't Correct. they? They're creatures of law in the same way that Fey are creatures of law, yes. And, and that tracks with what Rourke said about how the townspeople can come and go freely, but outsiders get, get the stick. Uh-huh. Or the, uh, bolt in this case. Mm-hmm. Any more general information on devils I can get? Sure, what do you want to know? Gosh, it's mostly just confirmation of things I already know out of character. I mean, you rolled a 20, you have a plus 8 to religion, and you're the High Diviner. I assume you know most things. Yeah. I'll, t I'll take it as a given, unless it's like... You know... If, if you're gonna turn around and be like, Oh, Stygian, Levistus doesn't like the color blue or whatever, then I'm going to be like, roll it back. But otherwise, I think you're you're all right. Uh-huh. All right. I, I don't know. I don't have any more questions at the that's, moment. That's fine. 
Anybody else got any conversations they want to have before we press on? None off the top of my head. Okay. So it, it's not long before you see a light on the stairs and you hear uh, you hear quiet conversation with uh, or rather between uh, two, two people. You hear Rourke's voice and you hear a woman uh, responding to him. And it doesn't take long before Rourke comes down uh, leading a, a woman who's carrying a lantern. She's dressed in it looks like swimming gear. Like, she's wearing a wetsuit, and then she's wearing, like, a tabard and sash over it. Um, your first, like, reaction to her outfit is like, oh, she's a tabaxi wanderer. Uh, but she's got blue skin. She's got um, orange coral where her ears should be. She's got, like, blue-green hair that looks like uh, flowing kelp. She's carrying... Actually, no, she wouldn't have it. She, she's carrying a book um, and a messenger bag. And she's got a little pin on the front of her wetsuit with uh, the Brotherhood of the Fountain of Life symbol on it. And she comes down and she like she sees a party of adventurers and she, she smiles. Um, and the first thing out of her mouth is, Does someone need a doctor? I'm slightly injured. She comes over and, and, like, takes your arm, looks at it, and opens her messenger bag. She pulls out some bandages and starts wrapping your arm after disinfecting it. She nods and she says, um, she introduces herself as uh, Dr. Zuli Sue Lorelei. Hell yeah. I think after a moment of her rapping, she, like, Killer lets out, like, a sigh, mm -hmm. as if she was a bit tense. Yeah, uh, that reminds me, she has 50 Oh! Uh, so you heal nine hit points just from that. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> and she looks around, and she says, Is anyone else injured? I can, well... No need to be shy. I'm familiar with what adventurers get up to. Lash shakes her head. She expertly, like, runs an eye over everyone in the group. <laughs> before, yeah. in, before, before anyone speaks, she says, You're here to save the world, aren't you? Hey, what a trying. Thumbs up. Of a sort. And she nods. She moves with a very uncharacteristic grace for a doctor. She's very light on her feet. She's almost dancing, and she, like, walks among you, checking you guys out before taking a seat. Aerith is still not at full HP, though. I don't know if that's readily apparent, because he received magical healing. It'll be apparent to her. Um, so she'll she'll like apply some tonic um, where you're where you're sore and 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 wrap up like your damaged limbs. Uh, you'll it's get probably a, like a, a burn salve or something. Yep, you'll get a, an, another another six hit points. All right. I hope we didn't wake you with our conversation. She shakes her head, still smiling. She says, "I like to read at night. Helps me get ready for bed." Hmm. Plants of this area are fascinating. What plants are left, eh? The fact most of them blend well with honey is a blessing, if not for the lack of honey. I have some if you need it. I still have a pound. Moreover, I can make it, but... So what world-ending catastrophe are you all gathered to deal with? Have you noticed the, the lady on the giant owl? Yeah, certainly. The globally encroaching darkness caused by Arl. 
the giants marching on the very anchor of the material world. Also, we might have a dragon of some sort to deal with in the future. It's amazing how these things can stack together, isn't it? Hey! I'm not sure amazing is quite the right word for it. I'd say terrifying. She she smiles at you. She says, "You remind so me I'm of just, someone." Just imagining the meme eh? first time, huh? <laughs> oh my god! She nods. Who's that? The Lord Marshal of the Flaming Fist, actually. Does Fyrga have any idea who that is? Uh, as far as you know, it's Ultra Ravenguard. Isn't older, older Ravenguard? Excuse me. Isn't that a Ravensguard's Ravensguard position? Mm. Unfortunately, no, he's missing. I'm referring to his replacement, Oscar Holderheck. I'm afraid I don't know him. You wouldn't. He grew up in Baldur's Gate, but he's um of a similar stature. Ah. And to your point, when the apocalypses start stacking up on each other, you have to smile to keep from screaming. Sounds like you're well traveled, then. I get around. Helping when I can, mourning while I can't. But the, oh. the matter with the Frost Maiden is a bit beyond me. These days, anyway. Well, you talk, I am a, uh, I take it you've been on some adventures yourself? And she nods, chuckling. Here and there, hither and thither. God fucking damn it. <laughs> you are enjoying every single moment of this. Don't even try. I yeah. am enjoying this. But God fucking damn it. Well, your timing is great. Uh, these lunar devils are not doing any kindness for the population here. You met them. Even if they are keeping the Ramborn at bay. Yeah, almost know. got almost got snatched off my wolf by one. If not for the <sighs> if not for jail, the high diviner would have been struck. I fear a fatal blow at that. I'm afraid I can't take them on alone. But I have information. What are all ears? I need to find the exact name because she's exacting in what she says. Where is the thing that I need? It's down at the bottom. The thing yep. is somewhere. Got it. Do 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 do. Yeah. Okay. Have any of you heard of the Knights of the Black Sword? What would I roll uh, if someone had? Uh, you would roll religion with disadvantage. I roll that. Yeah. Uh, religion. Uh, so I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna roll that as well. Yeah. Might as well. Stupid idea. How many war banners? I'll tell you in a second. Make sure you're rolling with your characters, guys. Um, there's only two that will matter. Okay. Dawn and Irith here both got a Goblin 20. Uh, you have heard of the Knights of the Black Sword in so far as... <sighs> they're a cult masquerading as, like, honorable knights. And there's not a lot of them. And mostly they're around to spread distrust. They, they roll in like, we're knights, we're going to help you. And then they betray you. They're a bunch of bastards. They also suck at their job. Suck at being knights or suck at 
Sowing distrust. Sowing distrust. That's odd, but okay. <laughs> that group of cads. You've heard of them? She smiles at you. You've heard of Read them. about them. Read about them. They're here. In the town. In the keep. I've been told of their ilk from those pulled from the sea. Unfortunately, you've seen the firepower they brought with them. They, they brought those fucking they things. Brought... You're kidding. They brought one, but they've been here in a while. Great, they're, so they're spread. They're able to self-replicate them. Some in kindred, but more or less. And me without a rifle. She smirks at Fierga when she says that. Fierga grins. We should be to a degree grateful for their presence. Eh, hey, but it also complicates things a bit, don't you think? It does. I'm stuck here. Literally, in this building. Right, uh, they'd be attacking you too. Mm-hmm. How'd you get into town in the first place? Same as you, yeah. I wager. Fair enough. Based on the way you move, I assume you made it far safer than we. Mental... I think I think she just smiles. The mental image of the doctor just Naruto dodging between shots at her as she enters the inn. Like, you joke, but she could also redirect them. They oh shit, I forgot that the right, thing she's a mom, you high level! Mm -hmm. they, may oh, be yeah. they may be effectively ethereal, but at the end of the day, they're projectiles with weight, so... Get she fucked, I guess. Yeah, she can redirect them with key. She can redirect yeah. them with- no, she can fire them back with key. She can redirect them anyway. Ah. Uh. Got them tabaxi moves, yo. Tabaxi moves combined with uh, a magic item that she has, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. So you're familiar with how rifles work, eh? Well, passingly. What is a rifle? Think of it like a magic wand that fires a stone. I would like a rifle. <laughs> You're it's, able to do that already, Dawn. It's like a... Literally, it's like a catapult spell, but better. Irregardless of my own capabilities, it sounds like a useful tool. I traveled with an artilleryman. For a time. Hey! He was... I forgot I was on push talk. Impressive. Well done. <laughs> Was he dwarfish? He wouldn't admit it, but he was. God, that hits home. <laughs> yeah. God, I could feel the shotgun hitting on that one. Right? I wonder if he was better shot than me. Uh, what's your attack bonus with your bow? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, plus Here 10. Uh, okay, so equal. Well, hang on. Hang on, though, because this is Grand Marshal Brick. Yeah, Grand Marshal's got <laughs> some yeah. other shit. This so, is like 10 or 20 years ahead. So she chuckles and she says, the things I've seen him do, well, he's an adventurer for a reason. Also, Kilio doesn't have grit. Names, yeah. Names carry a lot of weight for you, don't they, mm -hmm. small one? They do. From your markings, 
What is that, Clan Roche? I how you know them? Not personally. But hmm. I picked up some of your rune signs from uh, another traveling companion. Um, you may know him as the um, the Kindled Oath of the Firewatch. Do I know him by like personal name? Yes. Kion. Uh, yes. And she nods. I'm sorry. Who's Kion? A uh, a member of the Firewatch. The leader of the Firewatch. No, sorry. I Killy would know that. Mm -hmm. Fuck. The leader of the Firewatch. A what? Ah, so he's a fireman. A rescuer, fireman, defender, anything that, well, the people of the North need. Anyway. He's got a hell of a legend. Well, the artilleryman that I mentioned earned the name Thundercaller. Now that is a title. I assume that his name intended to invoke of something. One who calls thunder. One that shakes the earth. Rifles are that powerful, then. I've seen him stare down creatures bigger than this building without flinching. No, very different tactics than I would take. I've also seen him shoot the eye off, er, excuse me, shoot the fl uh, wings off of a fly at 50 paces. A That's impressive. A, a man of a hey. respectable degree. And even he was no match for the Jarl. Droofy. She nods. We're gonna have to deal with her once we get to Bryn Shander. She will help break. me deal with Kaya Denaval. And I'll help you with Bryn Shander. Hey, would you like to come with? Well, from the looks of things, you've got a competent healer, but um, I'll be around. We need all the help we can get. I don't that think you brings... do. You that brings something don't think we mind. do. Sorry. And neither should you, small one. Have some pride in your strength. I do. Do you? Hey. Aye, aye. What would Bear say? Wait, I'm I'm not familiar with bear stuff. Doesn't matter. What she's saying is like, you can handle this. Believe in yourself. Gotcha. And like she nods. Regardless of whether or not we can handle Darufi, the point stands. We could use all the help we can get. We can't be in every place at once. Neither can I. And if I'm traveling with you, even less so. Which is to, which is to say, if you don't want to follow us, would you like to address some of our concerns? Certainly, I have information, as well as technique to trade. But first, these people need help. Oh, hey, I just think it might be safe. Uh, I just think it would might be safer if we wait till morning, unless you want to rush it. That depends entirely on our tactic. What is your objective, adventurers? Um, first, we, are, we reopen this town so they are able to attempt survival. And that requires two fronts. The care. And the fairy. So the fairy is in. Okay. Sorry. I'm not sure. To... Uh, sorry. To clarify, fairy here at the port, or is she talking about a different fairy? She's 
She hasn't elaborated. Oh. Go on. Well, if the ferry's off the coast, then it might be a problem because it's still swarming with Rhineborn inland, actually. In another of the towns called East Haven. They supply many of the, well, supplies necessary to keep the town functional here to Care Denival. They trade for fish, and sometimes wood, sometimes precious things washed ashore. But the ferry's not running, and the people are starving. I have no reason to believe that East Haven is attempting to siege the care. But I can't exactly go and look now, can I? I'm not saying East Haven is trying to siege the town, but the Rhineborn are. The fact that a row arrived means something. For all that trouble. The Lunar Devils do a good job of policing the beach. So that's what they're called. And more to the point, trust me when I say there is nothing in the ocean I'm afraid of. Out of character. Cool, so you can go get the shit from the ship, right? I mean, you could mention it. If you're really that uh, confident in the waves, though, I see no other I, I see no other reason you wouldn't be. Um, there is a Codian ship that just went down. It was swarming with Rhineborn, though. Which one? Down to the deeps. Nods. In Codion, she says something, and both Iron Gate and Guiding Wind, like, start and bow their heads. And her smile returns, and she says, What did... You You gave me Codion as a free okay. language. What did she say? She said, uh, the, like, the, uh, it was a, it was a farewell blessing. It was the equivalent of, like, uh, their song will never be forgotten. Hmm. As far as I can tell, we have the last two survivors here. She nods. Why bring it up, though? There was a storeroom. Using some scrying, there was... Irithyr said there was... some... magic items. Lies I suspect we could possibly use to reinforce Bryn Shander. Or any other, or any of the other ten towns that need it. I can take a look. Be careful, though. I know you said you weren't afraid, but the whole place is swarming with them. They won't see you. Death trap. They won't see you. She shakes her head, still smiling. What is that? How? Oh, it took forever, us, forever for us to temper ourselves to even attempt to board the ship. She looks over at, at Dawn, um, and in Tor, she says, Your armor is interesting. You know the Stone Mother? She is the guidance that, f that holds my foot. She smiles a little bit wider, and her fins go up. She says, in common, and she says, I have something you want to see. Can you excuse me for just a moment? Be thinking if any of you else have ales. And she, like, again, glides upstairs. Rourke is, Rourke is watching her go, and he, like, shakes his head. And he says, Don't know what to make of her. Interesting, I'll say that much. She seems like a good sort, if a bit... odd. Then again, who am I to compl complain about odd? She says, just gonna like, gesturing around the room. She seems she's like... Fuck, words, please. She seems like she has quite the legend to tell. <laughs> 
Hey, and then some. Um, she won't tell it. I might, though. I know that name. Where from? I'm surprised you don't. Zuli Su Lorelei was honored in every free city in the north some years ago. What? History check? Yeah, go ahead. You have advantage. Can Lash make that, or is she from too far south? Oh, uh, you can. You're actually from further north than what he's referring to. Who can't? Uh, I don't think any of you can't, because she's famous. Okay, cool. Uh, the first one is for Kelio, the second one is for Lash. Okay. I need one for Kelio as well. Um, I dig Kelios. Of Inferga and Dawn. Okay. And what was it? History, you said? History. With advantage. Your theory, you can also make this roll if you like. Sure. Okay, nothing more, Banner. Hmm. I need another War Banner, please. So, interestingly, the only people who haven't heard of her are Lash and Irithyr. Fyrga, Kilio, and Dawn, since Gabbing Wind's not here. Hold on, um, Fox, you're stuttering. Don't get too far ahead. Thank you. Check one, check two. Here we go. Right on cue, too. Check one, check two, check three, check four. Three, are you three, responding four. in real time? Hi. I don't know, am I? You are. Yes, you, yes, are. you are. Okay. Yeah. You do know of that name. Dr. Zulia Su Lorelei is credited with a party of adventurers, uh, including uh, Oscar uh, Brick Holderheck, um, with basically saving the world she apparently um cured a a near global plague and um killed a lich Ooh. okay shakes head never heard of her hang on time out she's that to lord our life hey. Rook nods. You hear footsteps on the stairs again. And Dr. Lorelai returns carrying a trident. The head of the trident is like blue crystal, cyan crystal that's like glowing faintly like silver and like sparkling set in a um, like driftwood and wrought iron hilt uh, carved with runes, and there's a small, uh, there's a small, like, ribbon hanging from it. Uh, it is very magical. And she smiles. She, she holds it out for Don to take a look at. Yeah, it, it, he'll, he'll take it and take a delicate look at it. Intrinsically, you know, this is the same type of thing as the runestone embedded in your chest. Probably turning it over in his hand and like runs his th runs his hand over the stone. Mm -hmm. And based on who the doctor is, I gotta remember what 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 Dawn labeled this as. I think it was the sister? I think so. This is the this is a tool of the sister. She smiles and takes it back from you. Not quite. I have reason to believe this is the lost treasure of Nautilus the Tidecaller. I'm sorry, one, of, that? one of the Lords of the Elements. What? 
That's a name. Um, no. I can't say I would recognize the name. Who's that? You. Uh, what can I check to see what that is? Religion. But the only person who could get this check with any reasonable amount is Erethir. But we'll see. All right. Well, I'll make it. I'll give it a shot. So you would. You wouldn't banner. know him by that name. I need three war banners. Oof! Not a great roll. No, it's not. Helio actually got this. Nautilus, the tide caller is how do i put this that's a like that's a soft folk name kilio uh mm -hmm. you you know him by a different name okay c this, oh yeah oh so kind of like spring yeah that Ooh. There, there's, there's four of these. Um, you know them as Earth, Sea, Sky, and and Flame. Um, but yeah, they they are basically the embodiment of and rulers over everything involved in a specific element. Gotcha. Not unless the Tide Caller is is very much a god. They are the they are the deific figures. Yes. That is not a tool of the sister. Of that C. is the sister's tool. That's. I'm sorry. What's the difference grammatically? That's. That would be C, correct? She nods. The diff. Excuse me. The difference is... I'm not afraid of anything in the ocean. At all. For any reason. So if you want me to go and fetch the trinkets, I can. But I won't be here to help you. Hello? Should we see? Should we see about doing that before we help the town? No, the town cannot wait. The town is about, to, anyways, for her to get out of here. So, uh, it seems we have to dress the town before any of us can go anywhere. Do you want the knights or the fairy? I'll take the other. Side so possibly to our graves. Small chuckle. I mean, go ahead. We can handle the knights. He's like looking at the others for agreement or conjunct or objection. What's the, what's the problem with the fairy? Do you know? I don't. I haven't been to East Haven yet. I haven't been able to. But I can slip out while they're distracted. Hey, that's true. I'm just thinking it could be a fight or it could be a matter of uh, engineering. I can say this. What's happening here? It's equal parts negotiation and well if it comes to it if it nods if it comes to what could I make an insight check what she might mean by if it comes to it I don't think you have to. It's a f fairly common enough turn of phrase. She doesn't seem the sort to like fighting. Mm. 
Ah. If it comes down to blows, it might be negotiation, it might be blows. Probably both. Tends to be when an adventure is in one hand, no offense. Shrugs. No offense taken. Could we be taking a short rest? You'll be taking a long rest if you want. I mean, okay. We can do that. I will take that. But yes. finish your conversation first. Yeah. So, you won't deal with things here. I'll slip out to East Haven and see what I can find. And hopefully I'll have an easier time getting back if I run into difficulty. Nod. Okay. Mm. And if you can't handle the ferry itself, you can always double back. Mm-hmm. And I'll pop down and see if I can... Am I recovering anything specific? Ring up the grammarian, maybe? God fucking damn it. I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> uh, Eirith there, did you see anything in particular? Did I? I don't think I did, besides, like, what Guiding Wind, ha wind had with him. Right. So Guiding Wind says, um, there is much and more anything would be useful. And Dr. Lorelai nods. Well, luckily for you, I have a bag of holding. Sorry. A must for any adventurer. And retired ones. Another thing, if I marry a doctor. She nods. Reflexively, like, reaching for her bag. And you said you had technique for trade. Certainly. I can set bones, stitch wounds, cure infections. I can even perform minor surgeries if you have the tools and the need. There are many things I seek to learn. I do not know if you are so willing. But... Certainly. Though, do you have time? Study like that would take months. I think he smiles. No. Oh. Once the ice is broken, and the sun graces us again. You'll find me in good mead then. You may forget, Dawn, that we have approximately three or four more apocalypses to deal with after that. The doctor chuckles knowingly. The world's always ending in some way or another. You know how our names work, do you not, High Divina? Once dawn breaks, nothing will stand before the champions. Are you traveling south? Once you deal with. For all oh. our sakes, I hope you're right. Are you Sorry. traveling south once you deal with Aro? After Aro, I think we're heading through the glacier. Eventually. Hey. Tribor also needs our help. Mm. And Golden Fields. Yeah. And Nightstone. Everywhere needs our help. Actually, I'm not so sure. What is it? I. <sighs> I don't know how much stock I put in. I'm gonna put in it. The night before I had guiding wind to make that essence thing, I had a weird dream. Some Goliath claiming to be the son of the son of another Goliath that was known as a. Kinslayer 
was claiming they weren't, and they were in Waterdeep, and they were asking for guidance. Then what do you call you? you? He's. I told them. I think Nightfield and Goldenfields are the closest to them. I told them of the trouble there. Thank you, Nightfall. The doctor perks up. She says, I have a colleague in Waterdeep. I could ask him to check in if you'd like. That would be appreciated. You hmm. have a name? Um, Sockum. He had a wizard and a man of metal with him. Okay, so this is hilarious. Rourke goes... <laughs> Wait, you mean the shop that found the Vault of Dragons? Found the what? I uh, feel like that's something Irithyr knows. Yeah, there probably. A there is a vault full of dragons. <laughs> so the doctor says, they found it. Oh, good for them. Why would someone construct a vault to hold dragons? Uh, yeah, dragon you construct a vault to hold gold and riches. Dragons are the currency of Waterdeep. The coins are called dragons. That is needlessly asinine. <laughs> As asinine is the wrong word there. Um, arrogant. Arrogant. There it is. Hey, and dragons tend to be. Yeah. Apparently, they've found a bunch of bumpkins. Bumpkins? What do you mean? Well, they're not Water Davian. They're. Well, adventurers. From where? Amber Ridge? I'm not even going to roll for that one. Gilead's never heard of it. No, you haven't. But, <laughs> Do but Dr. Lorelei goes. I think I got a chicken from there once. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it goes full circle. No. It all goes full circle, motherfuckers. What is I'm not doing it No, 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 no. You guys, that, oh, that makes such stupid amounts of sense. <laughs> god. The place, the, the place no, with an advanced, no, 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 no. The place with an advanced arch druidus strong enough to linger after death to protect the forest with the strongest abjurist in the sword coast in the same location where else would you put your naughty fey child you have a that point but still <laughs> bad that turned into chickens and go for the archmage god damn it the nightlights were raised alongside a fey war, war criminal <laughs> and an actual war criminal. Um, <laughs> well, am I just supposed to assume Andre is the war criminal? Yeah. Okay. Good job, you did it. So, well, they found the vault. That's good. Yes. Yeah, so, well. <laughs> I'm I don't... still reeling from that. Good. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say about it. It doesn't matter. If yeah, they are. did that, then they're that famous. I'm sure not can find them. Oh my god. I'm sorry, who's not a boy? A... No. Who's... Sorry. Prenzna. P-R-E-N-Z. -E Prenzna. It's a, an old associate of mine. It's not important. The name All right. is very close to Prince. Almost, almost stinks of arrogance in a way. More or less than naming the currency dragons. Waterdeep seems to have a theme. So, like her, her, uh, her smile fades and her fins go back a little bit, and she says, a little sharply, she says. You're going to stop that right now if you want to learn from me. About what? You have no right to judge anyone. 
for any reason. Much less for the name. Someone you've never met? Someone you know nothing of what they've done? What they've suffered? How dare you? I don't think we meant any offense. Um, just. Killer doesn't say anything. Names have always had meaning. To not look upon that is to not look upon the way I have been taught since birth. If that is what you ask of me, I will learn. Let their actions speak. As I understand it, you earn your name. I'm not sure if I'll be able to contact him while in this bubble, but... I can. You can? You did... I meant to say I have a servant heading to Waterdeep as well. Oh. Well, I don't think what I have will work for you, but you're welcome to try it. What do you have out of curiosity? A gift from Na some years ago. And like reaches into like the the swimsuit top that she's wearing, and or wetsuit top she's wearing, excuse me, and like pulls out little, little, little yeah what looks like a silver amulet, just like a disc amulet on a chain. It's got a um. Uh, what's that orange stone? Not a citrine. Amber. An agate. No, agates are green. Agates are green. Uh, um, think it of amber or topaz. No, topazes are blue. No, topazes, topazes are orange. Topazes can be both. Blue uh, topazes are like it specifically pointed out as blue topaz whenever mm -hmm. they're found. Garnet, maybe. I thought Garnet was red. Garnet it's kind of orange. The point is it has an orange stone in it. It just kind of wiggles it and then puts it back in her shirt. Sapphires can apparently be orange. Mm. Nas. Yes. Something like a son to me. So it's good to keep in contact. That is why you lashed out. I wouldn't hear that talk towards anyone. My affiliation is not understanding. Let someone's legend speak for itself. No. Oh, I can't remember the boy's name. The the Minotaur that wanted everyone to move south. Sprouting Earth. Sprouting Earth. Sprouting Earth. If Sprouting Earth's plan sees us south, south far enough, perhaps I will make the journey to apologize for my assumptions myself. I should warn you, through no fault of his own, Gnar has a way of making you feel... small. That would be preferred, actually. Literally, or, um... in a... grand sense? He... fills a room when he walks in, so to say. Rather like, um... Odd. No, a wizard, actually. I don't she, know if that's worse. Kill <laughs> Kill you looks at Irithir. Yeah, everybody glances at Irithir for a minute. She uh Dr. Lorelai's looking at Fear Guy. She says, um Are you familiar with Kaylee? Kaylee? Uh Kaylee Battlehammer is a half elf adopted by Brunor from a very young age. Um she doesn't stick around in the doorfold very often, but when she does, uh she's Basically, a flighty princess. Mm. I know of her. I Nas rather like her. 
Ah, that tells me everything. From your accent, um... Mithril Hall? Contagrim. Contagrim was only recently taken, you can forgive my confusion. Understandable. Honestly, I'm... Honestly, it's a compliment you can understand, uh, source the match at all. A lot of people can't pick up part Dwarvish. In Dwarvish, she says, I had a lot of practice. That gets a grin from her. I really appreciate that the doctor can just speak everything. She's a bard! Bards, I, I think sucks. bards literally get a feature that lets them speak every language. What? She's a renaissance woman. She gets a closer look at you, Firga, and she says, Hold on, though. Um, do you mind to take off your helmet? It, I order it, and she'll unhook it and take it off. Yeah, she, like, grabs a candle and, like, leans closer. You've got scar tissue on your neck, quite a bit of it. It's no wonder you can't grow a beard. Ed, hey, um, and she, like, scratches the back of her head as she says, um, that it was a bit of a accident when I was small. I can help you if you like. Ed, hey, uh, how's that? Obviously, these conditions are not ideal, but after dawn breaks, come see me in good need. I have a few salves, and, well, if you're up for it, a surgery I could try. As, uh, well, as, as well as magic. I right. should know, uh, Bard, it's, it's specifically a College of Eloquence feature. Ah. Is it? I was just looking at them, and I didn't see it. Universal speech. Still, it makes sense for Bart to have a lot of languages. Uh huh. Hey, um, if I survive this nesting doll apocalypse, I think I might take you up on that. I'm sure you will. That brings another point of order. Hmm? Lash. Hmm. Looks up. Your wounds gained from the detonation of the mask were never properly tended to. The I lack the skills. Like her fins go back again. There was this thing, this firstborn tech mask that we used to kill some giants, and it exploded. And by mask, we mean this massive golden plate that shot lightning out of it. It shot lightning out of it because of that one points to Erethir. Hey, before that, it was... I don't remember much of that fight. Before that, it was sacred flame, and before that, it was water. Imagine a colossal angry worm made of water. The giants had gotten a hold of its mask and were using it as a, a weapon to amplify their shouts. Mm. I could certainly and we take got a look. hold of it and used it against the giants. I could certainly take a look if you like. And she pauses and she says, "And if Rog has anything to say about." You, you have to answer to me. Narrows eyes under the helmet. She knows, doesn't she? What are you talking about, Doctor? Nothing, Rock. It's fine. The doctor's got a godly insight check, but of course the doctor knows. She would. She does have a godly insight. You're right. She's she's got insight and medicine. Those are like her two biggest stats. Yeah, they are, like, on the doctor's sheets for crown, they are the best. We did what we could to mitigate the damage, but there's only so much that can be done when you worry such a creation could level the north. Nods. Rock, have the tub brought up to my room. You want a bath at this hour? Obviously not. Have it brought to my room. Fine, but there's no hot... Did I ask for hot water? Rourke goes into the back. 
You don't mind rooming with me, do you, Miss Lash? Shakes head. No. It's appreciated. I have some things that could help, but mostly you'll need to sleep in a special bath that I'll have prepared for you. Quirk's eyebrow under the mask, under the uh, helmet. You'll feel better afterwards. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna finish my beat, drink. And... Beat of silence. Could one of you big strong types go and get me about 40 pounds of snow from outside? Kierger gets up. <laughs> I shall do what I can. In the meanwhile, I, I will start working towards finding a countermeasure to our problem here in town. I'm gonna finish my drinks and rest. The, the Rhymeborns. Whatever they did, it still hasn't worn off. I, I feel that as well. Hey, um, actually, uh, Doc, do you have any idea how to speed up, speed up the recovery from these, uh, Rhymeborn? I do, but I can only do it once, and I assumed that Miss Lash was the worst off. The wound is old, but improperly treated. Lash, by all means. Absolutely. <sighs> I think with the rest, I'll be okay. Agreed. It might sound a bit... cunning to say... A good night's rest and a warm bowl of soup can do wonders. <sighs> Imitation Dernan biscuits, too. I would try my hand at soup, but I can't get this recipe right. I'm missing an ingredient. Do you have a good down? I, I don't, but I can. Uh, here, there, can I borrow paper? Uh, yeah, here, there, will give you a uh, sheet of parchment. Okay. Have you considered and adding Callum Shen peppers? Pain in the ass to find, but delicious. No, I'm gonna never use peppers to, like, jot the list down that she has. Mm -hmm. Hey, pass it to the doctor. She looks at it. She chuckles a little bit. She says... I her, handwriting's a, her handwriting's a little childish. Yeah. I think I've had this. You have. Do you know Thola Wolfmother? I. She's my armor. I've had this. What seems to be the problem? It. Hers. <sighs> Pause. You're Kelio. I. I am. I expected you to be taller. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am when yeah, I'm on fuck the back. Oh, she, she passes the note back to you and like holds a hand up. She says, "No, I mean for your stature. I expected you to be taller." Hmm. Well, Kan Roche is fabled for being on the tall side. Though, stand up. She stands on the chair she was sitting on. Yeah, it looks you up and down. Don't slouch. I. She st stiffens her shoulders a bit and adjusts. That's about right. What's wrong with the recipe? It seems to be all there. <sighs> Hers had a way of. Making you feel warm, and I can't get it right. Just doesn't taste like home? Mm-mm. You're... You're starting with duck fat, right? You are. I am. 
stewing the meat overnight? She nods. Cleaning the vegetables beforehand? She nods again. Are you mulling the bitter root? Ugh. Mm. Well, that's your problem. I... It's... <sighs> but it's bitter! Yes, I know, that's why it's, it's... called bitter root. <laughs> I think... Mean, yeah, like, that's the only thing she says, like, but it's bitter! That... That should make it worse! Oh. Is Wolf Walker a picky eater? Uh. You're right. It makes it untouchable for about three hours but after that if you tend the fire and stir it slowly you might be surprised I'm taking that... it up too early two nods that moment when someone tells you to roast the brussels sprouts instead of just boiling them like an idiot right What's wrong, with boil What's wrong with boiling Brussels sprouts? Nothing. Everything. <laughs> I prefer stewed broccoli myself, but to each their own. Ooh, I haven't had it so, broccoli stewed. Sounds good. I stew it in broth instead of straight water. Ooh, this sounds real good. It's real good. I could really go for some stewed tomatoes, though. I but don't getting back have any... <sighs> I... I don't have any bitter root on me. So unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to make an attempt tonight. Like, reaches into her pack, pulls out, like, what looks like a, a, a knob of ginger, holds it out to you. And she, she takes it. I should be able to make a good batch with these. It's got antibacterial properties. You shouldn't look so surprised. I'm a hunter, not so much a healer. I don't know. You've wrapped a paw in your day. She nods. What were you saying, Don? <laughs> Sorry, that that was just Don like clipping out his book and writing down that bitter root is antibacterial. Mm. <laughs> and I think Kyrie's downtime thing will be make trying to make the soup again. Yeah. So to that point, um. Who wants to do what during downtime? Because, like, unless you guys have anything else you want to talk with the doctor about, she's done yeah. and we can we can adjourn to our various rooms. Before we get, um, Pyrga's got something to tell her. Okay. Hey, uh, Doc, before I forget, hmm? if you are going to go venture out to the, um, Bounty of the Deeps, uh, there wasn't just Rhymeborn, there was also something else that I don't know if it survived or not. I know you said you don't fear anything in the ocean, but there's some lizard-like creature that, by all accounts, would not go down. Last we saw it fell in the water. That, I don't know much about. But I'll ask now. All right. Take care. That thing survived the breath of an elder dragon. You talk like you had ice wind at your back. Kind of that somewhat hand gesture. Funny that. Yeah. Okay, then was in good hands then. I'm in room three if you need me. At your convenience, Miss Lash. I think Lash will just follow her unless someone else tells her to wait. Okay. So yeah, downtime actions. What do you guys want to do? You've got the uh, evening. Kilio is confiscating the fireplace. Though bear in mind that you are due for a long rest. Uh huh. Yeah. Um. Would I put a tick on my alchemy counter and then sure. take a long rest? Sure. What What is that counter anyway? Uh, do you not have a total? I do not. How many have you done? I have not yet. Okay. Uh, this is just to learn, like, alchemy. It's six, yeah. it's six points. 
Six? Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, could I put a tick on learning Spoken Giant? If someone's willing to teach? Uh, you would have to take that from Dawn? Mm. Oh no, Kili Kilio. Kilio could do it. Kilio could talk while cooking. True. Sure. Perfect. Uh, also, how many ticks do I need? Uh, to learn that language? Uh, five. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lash will do anything that the doctor needs her to do since she's your down, your, your downtime action is going to be heal. Gotcha. I want to go ahead and copy some spells. Yeah, good plan. Mark off your wizard shit and make your rolls. Uh huh. I'm uh, nearly at full health. Uh, first off, I, I want to grab the uh, second level spell, see invisibility. Okay. Nice. Uh, are we extracting that from the archive? Second, oh yeah, you got it. And I also want to copy uh, the scroll of healing rain that I have. Okay. So that's gonna be for a minute. It's gonna do 3d10 healing to all targets in the radius. That's a good spell. Uh huh. What level is that spell? Third. Ah, third? All right. Or sorry, fourth. All right, okay. 3D fourth, 10, but... 3d10 AoE healing, it's a fourth level spell, my bad. But if I remember right, you don't get to specify, it's just anything that's in the range. Correct. What's the radius of it? Uh, r the radius of it is 30 feet. All right. The big circle. Is it a point that it's I a point, specify? It's a point, point you choose within range, which is in and of itself 60 feet. It originates there and then spans out 30 feet. Action casting time? Yep. But it's concentration. Any uh, the components? Uh, it is verbal, somatic, and material. It requires um, it requires a cup of clear water and a sprig of mistletoe. Okay, I don't think this is a fox problem, but just to be sure, whenever fox talks, is anyone else getting like a crinkle in their right headphone? Nani? Uh, I haven't. Anything. Yeah, I haven't heard it, but my volume's low, so maybe it's just quiet. I haven't heard it. And it's per round healing. Cor correct. Does it like on the start of the Aether's turn or something? At the top of the initiative count. And. That, I believe, uh, is that a spell that was already in the archive, or no? It is not. Mm -hmm. You still have to roll to copy it, you still have to expend wizard shit. Uh, I, I thought it was just a roll to extract things from the archive. Uh, do you not have to roll normally to put a spell in your spellbook? No, I believe I just need, uh, like, a copy of the spell. And you need wizard shit. Yeah. Yeah, so mark off wizard shit, you put it in, uh, roll a d100. Alright. Nice, dude! Damn. And you get call lightning. Fun. God damn it, oh, that is no. strong. Oh my god, you see that spot right there? Yeah, that's mine now, goodbye. Um, so, about blocking out the moon. You get Call Lightning added to your spellbook for free. Uh-huh. Alright, uh... 
I'm gonna go ahead and copy these spells into my spell book. Okay. Achilleo, your downtime is gonna be making soup. Yes, yes it is. Okay. I'm back to the pot part. Do you uh, have... Sorry, go ahead. Do you have proficiency with cooking tools? I do. The invisibility Good. is divination. I get I can do this for half the amount of wizard shit. Roll that. Last time you told me it was wisdom? For uh, this? Yes, correct. Ooh, nice. You make some good soup. So anybody who consumes this soup within 12 hours of you making it um, will receive 2d6 plus 6 healing and 1d10 temporary hit points. Nice. They will, Ooh, also, nice. They will, they will also be immune to cold and poison. Damage? Yes. Ooh, so you said... That's two... really useful. You said 2d6. Plus 6 healing. And 1d what? Ten. Temporary? 1d10. Uh, till you finish long rest, I'm guessing, or? Correct. That's still, that's good soup. Until you, really good soup. Until you, you finish a long rest, or you take exhaustion from pushing through. Gotcha. That is pretty great. How many uses of this do I have? Ten. Ten. Okay. Now that's what I'd call soup for the soul. But when does shopping for clothes kick in? Oh, uh, oh, I forgot to point out. Also, if somebody takes takes a portion of this soup after finishing a long rest, or before they finish a long rest, but it won't be done by then, um, they can cure an additional level of exhaustion or an additional level of stat drain. Oh, so after for before or really a during a long rest? Before or after a long rest? Like if you take it, like if you take it adjacent to a long rest, it increases the benefits of the long rest. But it won't be ready until after the long rest. Correct. So if you so, have it for breakfast, you're good. Okay, I think we might want to do that for anyone who's missing stats. Mm-hmm. Last. How many potions can you make, yeah. by the way? Sorry, what? Uh, how many portions does this make, by the way? Ten. Ten. So, Lash. Yes. The doctor is going to cast a spell called Rejuvenating Waters. Okay. And basically, she prepares a hot bath for you, and then ensorcels it. If you take a long rest in Rejuvenating Waters... You, it, it's like a full heal in Pokemon. I mean, Lash is already fully healed. We just, in character, didn't <laughs> properly heal any of the wounds. Right, but, like, any stat drain, any exhaustion, any, um, like, non-magical ailments on you, any magical ailments that aren't sticky, like curses, um, like, it's all cured by rejuvenating waters. Cool. Yeah. But you have to long rest in it. The water stays warm all night, so you're comfy. Lash will, like, thank the doctor for sure. Like, she's out of the armor and everything. Mm-hmm. Okay, everybody got their long rest sorted? Yep. Mm -hmm. I just need to roll for HP. Yep. I'm just so, gonna read through my spells. So you guys can gain a bit of a long rest. Um, you can cure a point of stat drain. You can cure any exhaustion that you have. Um get your hit points back, get your hit dice back, get all your spell slots. It's a quiet night, despite the monsters lurking outside. Did anybody set a wake-up call? We shoulda. Um, I, mean, I don't see why we couldn't have. Yeah, okay. it's just a question of what time we want to get going. Regardless of when we set a wake-up call, Lash is going to be up at, like, probably the equivalent of 5 a.m. Uh, we were probably already at the equivalent of 5 a.m. No, more like 3. Well, yeah. Then, yeah, probably more like 6 for Lash. You're only sleeping for 3 hours? You won't get the benefit of a long rest. Never mind, I'll shut up. 
bare minimum for long rest again? Five hours. Okay. So Lash is not moving until eight. Okay. Kitty only needs um, four hours, but she needs a light activity otherwise. And five hours is not comfy. Like, to get the full benefit and feel good, Lash would need to sleep until, like, ten. I'd let Lash sleep. Like, honestly. Yeah. And if Lash herself doesn't want to sleep, the doctor gives her a look. Sleep. The doctor The doctor gives her a look. Nothing. The doctor spiked the bathwater. Fair enough. Fuck enough. <laughs> the doctor knows Lash's type, i.e. Cyrodeath. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. So, do you guys do you guys like want to just take some time to sleep in? You don't usually sleep in, so. Yeah, we might wanna. It's a it's rare nice. opportunity. Yeah. I, I think Ke since Kelio was like often up anyway, she probably slept when it needed to just simmer. Mm hmm I think. Since it will help us throughout the day anyway, I think she's borrowed some bowls from behind the counter mm -hmm. and has portioned out some for the group. I think I'm... I think you wake up, Kelio, and one of the bowls has been moved to a table and emptied, and the door to the inn is just closing. I'm going to peek out the window. There was something I was supposed to do, damn it. What? Well... You know, what? I never mute when I'm supposed to. The night before, like before we actually went to rest, mm -hmm. could I have like dumped my the the last two third level slots I have on create food and water? The water will stay. The food won't. The food and water stay for fifth for twenty four hours. Oh, do they? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll dump my last two things on that. That creates uh, 90 pounds of food, 60 gallons of water. Nice. That can be distributed in the quote-unquote morning mm -hmm. when this guy, when the when these people are free to move about. So what you see, Kelio, when you peek out the window, is mm -hmm. a Rourke pulling a hand cart loaded with supplies and crouched in the back almost out of sight is a figure covered head to toe in like clothes but you see a glint of blue crystal gotcha um, also, those rolls that I just made, mm -hmm. I'm subtracting five of them because I must have fat fingered something and put a 20 in con instead of the 10 it's supposed to go to. Okay. So I'm subtracting five from those. Understood. So the next morning, you all wake up um, in your respective rooms. Uh, Lash, the Ganassi doctor is gone. Where the fuck? All her like, supplies all are gone. Yeah, like, Lash will get up still in, like, like, probably get dressed, look around. She's just gone? Yep. Yep. Gets back into her, like, clothes, um, probably doesn't put the armor on quite yet, but keeps the helmet on. Mm -hmm. Just to hide the features. Mm -hmm. And then, like, starts going downstairs. Okay. okay. So I think, um... The, the the big boys all got private rooms. Fear guy, I think you bunked with Kelio, but Kelio slept downstairs. And then... I guess Irithyr also got his own room. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this broth thing for me. Yeah. Should I, re should I reduce... How much does it reduce the, um... The stat drain by? An additional point. Okay, I am almost back to regular then. So, Lash is apparently downstairs first, but you're all, like, groggy-eyed. Anybody want to do anything before you reconvene downstairs? 
Bosh is probably just stretching a bit, like trying to feel out what that did for her. Mm hmm. Probably feels a lot fucking better. Oh, yeah, you feel real good. You feel better than Helio does. Nice. And you said 1d10 temporary? Mm hmm. Anybody have anything they want to do? I mean, Lash probably, while she's stretching, is just doing her usual morning thing, but no. When she finishes you. stretching, you get a bowl put in your hand. Morning. Morning. What's this? It is a thick, brown, almost gravy-like stew with chunks of meat and vegetables in it. It smells really good. Yeah, Lash will... Breakfast. Lash will what? Sorry? Lash will down it. Okay. Uh, you get 2d6 plus 6 points of healing and a d10 of temporary hit points. You are immune to cold and poison. So, like, roll a d10. Mm-hmm. Alan's probably doing something he hasn't had time to do since he left the camp, or since mm. the day before the, the attack from Giants. Mm-hmm. Whatever the, uh... The usual prayer methods are to the Earth Mother. Yeah, totally. So, Firga, would you or Irithir come out of your room next? I think it might be Irithir, honestly. Okay. Roll your portents, by the way. Right. Yeah, that's that's what I forgot. Felt like I was forgetting something. Okay. So Aerithor, you open the door and you start to go downstairs, and you hear a door open across the hall, and Iron Gate pokes his head out. And to you, he says, um, The days have been hard. Guiding Wind will sleep, and I will watch him. Can they speak a language? Aerithor can. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Aerithir. My bad. Yep. Aerithir will just nod. Very well done. The door closes again. And he'll head downstairs, I guess. Okay. Immediately bowl is placed in your hand. You see Lash and Kilio and no Rourke or the Doctor. I think, like, once Eurythir is down there as well, Lash will go. The Ganassi, the Sue Lorelei lady, she was gone when I woke up. She was just leaving a little while ago. No, she left early. I said you woke up, Kilio. Oh. When I woke, she was gone. Hmm. Guessing she wants to get a head start. Good on her. Hi. Down three charges so far because she took one. Mm -hmm. Did Rourke take one? Rourke did not. Okay. At least not that you can tell. Yeah, you're there. You gain 2d6 healing, 2d6 plus 6 healing, uh, d10 temporary hit points, and you're immune to cold and poison. The soup is real good. Like, somebody could charge like 15 bucks for this and run those to you. Wow. Hope it's not too plain for you, Diviner. It seems you've finally gotten the recipe right. A little bit of guidance here and there doesn't hurt. Neither does patience. Correct on both accounts. You're learning. I don't grow if I don't learn. What do those morning rituals look like, Don? So... It's it's probably laying out the, the stones they keep on their belt. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I'd say burning incense. I don't actually have incense. Then you ain't burning incense. But... Uh, also, incense would be so hard to get out on the glacier. That's true. We have we have the recipe for the potions, and since that stuff is pretty much a weed, we probably make our own very poor incense. That's fair. Burning herbs have been used for thousands of years. You could use fat and stuff for a makeshift candle, maybe. That's true. And it's probably just like speaking prayers in prime in the in as close to Terran as basic primordial can get you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> speaking the tenets. Um and go. What are the tenets? Oh Lord, you're making me look for shit now. <laughs> Ultimately, it's to make Dawn feel better. Right. Yeah. So what, do we, something... what do we see after the fact? Um. After it's probably Dawn. He already knows full well, but he probably takes the the daily ping of the of the stone in his chest. Mm hmm looks looks to the direction and hold holds the the stones in one hand I will come with new strength mother and starts making his way down yeah okay fear Tell what about you Um, I'm sorry, I had to get up for a moment. Uh... He's sleeping in, but what do we see when Fergo gets up? Uh... Probably she's, like... Not quite absent-mindedly, but, like, still tiredly tampering with, um... Uh, Scout, making sure he's calibrated, calibrated right, make making sure that the vocab she learned last night is reading correctly. The f like, the file is all sorted, so to speak. What? Never mind. Um, I just don't know what you meant, that's all. You don't have to say never mind. That's fair. Uh, but, um, last night when she was learning a bit of giant, a bit more giant from... Uh, Kilio, she was kind of dictating to uh, um, Scout to make sure she could remember the vocabulary later if she forgot it. Oh, okay. And she's just making sure that the file's saved correctly and it's all there and all that. Gotcha. So... God, there was something I wanted to do with Scout. I don't remember what it was. Give me a second. If you're working with Scout, this is the perfect time. I'm just trying to remember what it was. I don't remember what it was, but this is better, so it's fine. So you're messing with Scout, mm -hmm. and, and Scout says, um... Rune speaker. Hey. Permit a query. Granted. Origin of Draconic Artifact. Er, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Secondborn Artifact. Hey, uh... Which one? In possession of Fourthborn, designation Elf. I thought they were Thirdborn. I thought Giants were Thirdborn. I thought they were Fourthborn. Giants were Fourth. Okay, then Thirdborn. Excuse me. Giant. I, I remember I that. Um, 
No, Giants were fourth because uh, Kilio was designated like d Goliath or descendant of the the Giants, I believe. And so it was something related. Kilio was something related to the fourth one. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was fourth. Did I didn't didn't um the custodian literally call you an aberration, fourth born aberration? No, they did not use those words. I would remember that. Fourth born something. Let it let it be mutation anomaly maybe. I think it was anomaly. Okay, regardless, I I I'm struggling to keep it all straight. I know that the dwarves are first born, then the dragons are second born. Then the elves are third born and the giants are fourth born. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, so he said he said second born artifact in possession of third born designation elf. I damn near said some of the dumbest what? shit of my life. Why don't we just ask Scout? <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Before I say a dumb, which thing is he talking about? You have no idea what he's referring to. He said second born artifact in possession of designation elf. And. Sorry, which artifact is that specifically? Uh, Scout projects a hologram of the actual archive. Wait, that's second born? Processing. Like, did I hear that right, Scout? Permit testing of common vernacular module. Aye. You mean you don't know? Well, it's made of Futterspawn magic, so I assumed it was Futterspawn tech, though the style of craftsmanship is completely different now that I think about it. Negative. Secondborn artifact of thirdborn origin. Er, excuse me. Construction. Hey, uh, Eater Theater. You're in your room. Oh, sorry. My bad. Quick, I thought quick I was clarity of what that just meant. That's a dragon artifact of elven creation? According to Scout. I just wanted to make sure I was understanding what he was saying. That is what he was saying. The All boring right. stuff loses me quick. Uh, in that case, I think Fury gets up, finishes getting dressed, what she has still had to do. Makes her way downstairs, see if Irithyr is there. You catch Dawn on the stairs. Morning, Dawn. Morning. You see, Ir you see Irithyr anywhere? No. Hmm. I would... I would... Uh, the, 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 I would take the guess he has already made it down. Hmm. By the scent of the building, I would assume... Kilio has succeeded. It smells good, doesn't it? And, and I think her stomach growls, and she just yeah. like keeps going downstairs. You guys head downstairs. You see Irithyr and Lash having uh, having food at a table. Kilio standing the fire. And she'll sit down next to Irithyr. Kilio will slide you a bowl. Morning, do I my word? Morning. You Thanks, eat Kilo. that, you get 2d6 plus 6 healing, a d10 um, temporary hit points, you're immune to cold and poison, and it's really good. Same to you, Don. We'll take that shit now. <laughs> the you healing can won't. You can also restore uh, a, a level of exhaustion or a level of stat drain, any of you who are eating the soup. Mm. I'm just saying, ladies and gentlemen, Dawn is at full power. Huzzah! Uh -huh. Yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So, yes. So. Right. So, yeah. Sat down. Uh, that's 16 healing to your Dawn. Oh! <laughs> I barely got my bow Go ahead, Virga. So yeah, so sit, she uh, sits down, she goes to take a bite, realizes it's, it's a little hot still, sets the spoon back down for a minute. Uh, so, Irithir. Um. Looks over. Uh, Scout here had a question for me this morning, and I wasn't sure how to answer it. 
um do you have to know where your uh archive came from <laughs> classic dwarvish word doohickey <laughs> <laughs> are you sure that sounds like a gnomish word that is a dwarvish word sir what do i you're know of actually... the history of the archive it is uh, definitely dwarvish you know your mentor gave it to you no no gizmo is dwarvish doohickey is definitely gnomish gizmo is more gnomish gnomish yeah gizmo is gnomish thingamabob is also gnomish Anyway, I'd argue they're all gnomish, but some of them got borrowed into dwarvish. The dwarvish stole it and claimed it as theirs, as they always do. You know, <laughs> it is, you know, it is like the sacred trust of the high diviner. Mm -hmm. It's like partially the symbol of your station, partially the source of your power. You know, your your mentor had it uh, for a long time and used it to great effect. Beyond that, not much. I'll admit its history is shrouded to me. Cause, um... Scout asked me a question, and I'm not entirely sure what to make of it, but it has some implications. So I'm gonna run it by you. He asked about the, uh, origin of the second-born artifact that the third-born carried, i.e. that and you. Second-born art. That's what he used to describe dragons, isn't it? Hey. You're telling me your device thinks that the symbol of my status is an artifact of draconic origin. If I'm understanding it, I... Preposterous. That's a treasonous statement is what that is. <laughs> no, Scout could be mis mistaken. All or have... maybe the... Vocabulary is all scrambled, or I don't know, but... All I can imagine is that's preposterous. Eh. Scout's currently inert. He's he's in the gauntlet. Yeah, it, she would have actually popped him back out for a moment, like. But but you didn't say that, so. No, I mean she's about to. Okay. Just to be clear, Scout, this is the thing that we're talking about, eh? Scanning, a blue light comes over Irithir, up and down, sweep. <laughs> Affirmative. And you are certain it's of dragon origin somehow. Processing. Identification of second born energy confirmed. Second born energy? Could you elaborate on that? Processing. <laughs> um, Hello, Scout. Opening common vernacular module. Looking at Fairgate for permission. Hey. It stinks of dragons? <laughs> that is... Impossible. As far as I know, it's been in the Galastasia High House for generations. For elvish generations. Processing. Theory unconfirmed, but plausible. Go on. Device is approximately, list a massive number, cycles in origin. Since origin.
Can I make an intelligence check to translate that into normal numbers? Um, yes. It's a saving throw, though. Okay. I'm better the at those. The number is so big, it's not a check, it's a save. Love it. Get some war banner. Yep. It's, it's kind of uh, like... Lash, do you have the war banner with you? You said you weren't wearing your armor. Fair enough. Never mind. I'm sorry. No worries. Um, it seems like the show is still... Uh, I wish I could steal the supernumerate. Um, how old is Era there? Uh, I've got the number listed. I think it's 600 something. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, second question How old is. I keep wanting to say Tevinter. That's not correct. Oh, uh, who are you referring to? Your your mentor. Tevaster? Tevaster. I was closer than I uh, thought I was. Probably at least like 200 years older. Okay. So, yeah, Scout listed a number that's about. Oh, you're cutting out. Oh, am I? Yeah. Okay, hang on. Give him a sec. Eight forty like clockwork. My net goes down. It was fine most of today. Aside from that brief spat earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That I'll look is into weird. It. It's probably going to go down for a while, but um, no, we'll deal with it as best we can do. Anyway, um, Scout gives you a number about five thousand years ago. That's still a hefty amount of time even by elvish standards oh yeah well even if it has uh dragon energy to it does it doesn't mean it was made by a dragon per se does it but negative it brings... device appears to be third bone origin So the elves did make it. Regardless, it brings into question... The how and the why? I mean, the why is pretty obvious. questions of its creation. I... And also the who, for that matter. Let's see, Elvish history like 5,000 years ago. I'm trying mm -hmm. to think of how far back in their history that is. About five, about 5,000 years, give or take. Yeah, but uh, like I'm still questioning, like had the, uh, the what is known as the Telks here, the uh, elves of Faerun split off from the Eldrin yet. Uh, I'd say they have. Okay. Any famous dragons that got brought down at that time? Oh. Uh... No, because famous by Snow Elf standards are, like, nobody else had ever heard of them. Mm. We could start with the extinction of, the, of mist dragons. Extinction of what now? That's obscure lore. I'm just making a joke. Mm. I was going to say, please don't spout lore at my table. No, just a joke. No worries. Um, you want to make a roll here right there? Sure. What are you looking for? Probably an answer to Figure's question. Any notable historical dragons 
settled make, around that time. Make a history check with disadvantage. Um, Actually, no, just normal. No, no more roll. No more roll. Okay. Okay. Five thousand years ago. That time period is is kind of overshadowed, not so much by you know, a famous dragon being killed as that's about you know, give or take a couple hundred years, that's about the time that the um like the like the war of the raging dragon began. The war of the what? Oh. Uh -huh. So the war of the snow elves against the dragons, mm -hmm. or the war of the wait raging dragon, also called dragon's lament, also called um the like the the dragon cry sagas. Uh huh. World War One, the Great War, the war to end all wars, and yet somehow we're still fighting dragons. All right. Do I know what caused that war? What caused it all to start? Or I mean, yeah, dragons attacked the capital. Uh huh. Also, out of curiosity, how much of this is Irithir relaying to Firga, and how much of it is just him speculating in his head. Uh, he would have said that was the beginning of our war. On the dragons. Mm. I'm afraid I- I'm afraid to say I don't know much, if anything at all, about that war. What caused it? Dragons attacked Corny Segan, the snow off capital. That'll do it. That'll definitely do it, eh? Was it a territory thing, or something else entirely? I mean, they're prismatic dragons, or chromatic dragons, excuse me, like, they don't need a reason, they just attack and kill people! And yeah, like he was about to say. What reason do white dragons need to cause destruction? Yeah, that's fair. The excuse for other, if any. Rune speaker. I scout. Query. Hey. Designate white dragon. Uh, second born. Um. Uh. White color, obviously. Um, uh, ice variant. Yeah. Strongly associ associated Here with ice in the north. Uh, don't confuse them with silver dra- Wait, is it silver dragons or is it a different kind for um, the metallic version? It's silver. Yep. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't get them mixed up with the silver dragons. They're different beasts entirely. Separate designation? Not separate, separate. Um, silver dragons that are metallic, they look silvery. But the but they both have a uh, cold to them. Further information required. Hey, I'm back. What a mess. Uh, Fear is trying to explain the difference between white dragons and silver dragons to scout, and it's not going well. I, I, 
I don't think you can give Scout the information that he needs right now. Yeah, um... Like, you're giving him superficial, like... Like, differences in coloration and body. Scout mm. can't see. But it's... Scout scans. That's fair. Um... I'll have to get back you back to you on that, I'm afraid. I mean, Runiac had white dragon energy. That's a good point. Um, uh, for now, I think uh, it would help you to it would help to say that um, Runiac had white dragon all about him. Processing. Error. Data mismatch. Hey. Thirdborn artifact. Designation White Dragon. Error mismatch. Designation Runiac. Secondborn energy. Okay, so not a white dragon in the very least in the archive, if I'm parsing that right. I mean, other chromatic dragons inhabit the high ice. Hey, certainly. White, white dragons, most of all. Query designation: chromatic dragon. <sighs> How in the world do I explain this? I think you know more about dragons than I. Modern vernacular separates dragons based on color, which I don't know if you can differentiate between, but there are chromatic, metallic. Does Erethir know about gem dragons? Uh, Erethir specifically might snow elves writ large, not necessarily. <laughs> There have been reports of other sorts of dragons that don't fit those two definitions. Chromatic include red, blue, black, green, mm -hmm. and white dragons. Whereas metallic are brass, gold, silver, bronze, copper. Copper. I suppose the makeup of the scales would be have to would have to be slightly different to get the different color variation variations to begin with, but also the difference between uh, chromatic and metallic. So maybe you could figure. So maybe you could differentiate them that way, Scout. If we can find a sample. They're also categorized by their breath weapons. Hey. Processing. Secondborn data retrieved. Secondborn designation MD001 Bahamut. Secondborn designation CD002 Tiamat. Secondborn designation GD003 Saraval. Processing. Secondborn designation GD003 energy associated with secondborn artifact. Interesting! What was the name of this again? Saraval. Oh. I've heard of Bahamut and Tiamat, but. I've only barely heard of the first two, definitely not the third. Has your there heard that name before? No. Saraval. Um, Bahamut is even considered the know. king of metallic dragons and Tiamat the queen of chromatic. And who's the set of all the indeterminate gender of? That thing said letters before the names of the 
Tiamat and the other M one. MD for Bahamut. I only assume that sounds for Metallic Dragon. And CD for... Tiamat. Chromatic. What does G stand for? Gassy, maybe? Sorry, bad joke. It's an off chance, but would Lash be able to roll anything for this? Hell no. Didn't think so. This sounds more like Scalefire's problem. Uh, Scout, do you happen to know what the GD is supposed to stand for? Goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Negative. Hell. Primary designation unknown. Mm. Designation GD003 Cerevol Processing. Primary prototype of second gen model. Second born model. Primary prototype? A progenitor of all dragons. Is that what you're saying? Negative. A what now? Primary as in first or primary as in most important? Accessing common dialect module. The first one to survive. Interesting. The first one to survive, he said? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then, wait, if that one's the first one, then why is it only the third designation? GD-001 and GD-002. Status terminated. Oh. That are dead. I have a thought that maybe... Yeah, yeah. Forgive me, a little too simple to be seen at first glance. Designation GD. God Dragon. You might have a point if it weren't for the case that Bahamut and Tiamat are also gods. Hey. Yes. Bahamut is the god of metallic dragons. Tiamat is the god of chromatic. Perhaps there is a third. Perhaps Sorovil is the mediator meant to act between them. Some kind of a neutral dragons. That would presume that Tiamat answers to anyone. Only Everything I've heard about them makes them sound like a bitch. Only to her own avarice, from what I've heard. Forgive me. I know little of dragons other than the best other than the best way to pin them to the ground. It's with rocks. I was going to say a ballista if uh, the moot was any indication. It's presumably one of the most evil creatures in this multiverse. What's a multiverse? As in... Ugh, how do I explain this outside of a Various day -long testing cemetery? grounds for firstborn experimentation. What? Like the various planes. I speak of the planes. And perhaps beyond. Processing. Oh. Stars still tell tales that cannot be unraveled. <clears throat> Secondborn records incomplete. Recommend interfacing with nearest firstborn facility. What All is right. the nearest? Scanning. Processing. Scout gets a little, like, blinking light on one of his tines. Mm-hmm. That way. Which way is that relative to us? Inland. Uh, roughly back towards where we came, or somewhere new? No, you came up the beach. Look, uh, let me Where is he pointing? He's pointing Sorry. inland. Could he? Oh no, we don't have the map up. 
could he be pointing back towards the one we found at the river, or is this somewhere else entirely? Uh, okay. So let me bring up the map of the north, because Birchmila is not getting this. So, come up here to the Icewind Dale, children. <laughs> no. The thing you found was here, along this riverbed. Okay. Um, you are currently... Relatively speaking. Here-ish, gotcha. along the coast of the Dale. Okay. I thought the river you, was farther you, east of where, than where we were. You came up this way. Came up along the coast. Well, technically you started, like, along the Ten Trail, and then cut inland super, or, uh, seaward super hard, right? But, Scout is pointing inland. Okay. I had my sense of how far east that river was mixed up. That's why I'm helping. Sorry, real quick. Hey. While we're on this, while we're on this page. What's up? Is the the home of Hallowstone in here, or are we further up? Uh, a little bit further up. You're like equal to the Redhead Glacier. So somewhere in here. Yep. Is that still within the? Are would it to be within the bounds of the bubble? Uh, you don't know what the bounds of the bubble are. I'm not answering that. No, sorry. That was that wasn't a that was rhetorical. No worries. So. Curiosity, if you will. Uh, circling back, though. Um... It seems we could get a great deal of information right. if we manage to find another firstborn facility. And supplies, for that matter, if it's anything like the first. And probably. And probably a solid fight while we're at it. Nearest facility. Processing. Hey, explain how big a mile was, if that helps. Yeah, we have established miles in... I right, think that, that's not what he's answering, though. Mm. Thermographic regulation. Thermograph... Measuring the temperature? Affirmative. How far? Processing. And he gives coordinates, but the Y coordinate is substantially higher than where you are. Granted, you're nearly at sea level. So either up a mountain or in the sky somehow. Like an airy. Airy. Equals airy. Do I know where Eagles Area is? Yes. How far would it be from here? Uh, providing the weather holds? Five days? That this would be the... a ways travel. Yes, this I... is the fourth time you've mentioned such a place. What is this Eagles Area? Also, I... is it... Also, does it line up with uh, where, it's, where uh, Scout's pointing? Does it? Can you read coordinates, Kilio? No, well, okay, Scout wait. Scout pointed out a direction. Scout pointed it in a direction. It's that direction. It's in that direction. Do we want to take a field trip once we get out of this bubble? More and more curious. It's not necessarily out of the bubble. It's true. about five days of travel. Range Andrew further the... than that. <laughs> yeah. Right, but at the same time, people starving versus information about dragons. Is it relatively on the way? Nobody is recommending going right now, Firga. Kilio is saying it's in the bubble. Mm. We can we can hit that place along our way to Brinchander pretty easily. Yeah. The bridge under is further north. Bragg right. said there was something. I, I was telling them about the river. 
the, where the bridge was broken and what we fought down there. And he said there was something reminiscent of that at Eagle's Airy. Extremely curious. Hey, you've definitely got my curiosity now. We can, as we get closer to it, we can take a detour. A Goliath homestead, for lack of a better term, perhaps built out of said firstborn facility. It's more like, what would be a better way to describe it? Um, a semi-permanent, like a permanent sacred site in a semi-permanent settlement. A timeshare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. It's, a summer palace, but less palacey. It's oh my god. A a semi-permanent sanctuary. I'm never gonna escape that. I'm never gonna escape that thought. How dare you, Vader? <laughs> so let's get, all get timeshares to go to Eagle's Airy. Uh, we were told it would be lovely this time of year, but there seems to be a bitch in the sky. Indeed. Uh. Weatherman didn't protect that shit. <laughs> yeah, when was being a bitch but right now. You act like the weatherman can predict regular weather. <laughs> they live in a weird area. We did. <laughs> did you mean Earth? <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, the point, the primordial plane known as Earth is kind of like that. Let me tell you, Wisconsin is worse. <laughs> you live in a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> something nope. something desert oh my god no stop <laughs> nightfall it's okay everyone knows you live in a desert <laughs> Dude, it's fine I desert. <laughs> it is a well known fact we can move on from it don't worry nightfall about is it. It. oh my god upsetty spaghetti <laughs> Nightfall lives in a desert like I live on top of a mountain. Exactly. If I knew don't. where you were from, that would probably be funnier to me. Exactly. To the literal book definition. Anyway. anyway. Moving along. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so what's the plan for today? We march up to the fortress? Wow, really? Really, Kilio? Huh? I was expecting the next question to be, what do I know about Eagle's Airy? But okay. Oh, wait. I'm, I got distracted by desert insults, okay? <laughs> yeah, what, what do I know about Eagle's Airy? Make an answer check. What do you know about the desert? Fuck off. I don't know a lot because I don't live in one. Not that halfling luck, though. Oh, I didn't even see the halfling luck roll. <laughs> you rolled a one and a three, and then your halfling luck kicked in. Nice. So, Eagle's Airy is a pain in the ass to get to from the ground, first of all. You have to, get, like, your wolves have to go single file up a rocky game trail. Yeah. Above, above the cloud layer. I don't go here often. No, it sucks. But uh, I, I've been told to deliver messages here before. It's, it sucks. It's real fucking nice once you get up there. There's there's a big like I I literally almost said the sentence. There's a big tree. That's not what I need to invoke here. There is an old the world tree. tree. There's an old world tree. Oh, Jesus. At the top of this thing. Oh, God. It's sheltered in a circle uh, of mountain peaks, but still open to the sky. It's a big tree canopy, and then there's buildings set up that then have passages into the mountains in this little, like, town up here. And there's 
like the the visiting hall is amazing it, it's like it's like the house of elrond it's big like amphitheater set up it's got its own water feature um you know because clan Grawl is is all about like making the stories like they're they're up yeah. there like like singing ballads and shit all day uh, and, it, and it echoes off the peaks like it's it's cool but the buildings are made of stone, which you don't see a lot of in, in Goliath crafts. Yeah, that that's a rarity for sure. Mm -hmm. Mo most Goliaths are nomadic. And on top of and... that, you have three questions. Okay. I mean, Cloud um, is also nomadic, but... I mean, yes. Eagle's Area has stone buildings. There, There's a sanctuary for most... A semi-permanent sanctuary for most Goliath clans, but not like this. Correct. You have three questions. Um, it's interesting that the bird clan specifically would use stone. A lot of open to the sky, a lot of like, like, you know, able to look out over the north from up here. But yeah, there's really only one tree and it's kind of, you're not going to take wood from it. It's fuck all the ass. What can you tell me about the tree? Um, it's m magic, like deep, old magic. Um, and you you can tell that just by looking at it. Like it's got like an aura around it, and it, it's like glowing faintly. Um, it's referred to as like Eric or Eagle it's referred to as um like like the old Ent it's referred to as like the tree like, like if, if somebody in Clan Grawl says the tree you know what they're talking about um it doesn't seem to do anything it's clearly magical. It clearly does something, but you can't really put your finger on what it does. Um, mm -hmm. and, but it, but it's like it's like a local god in the like Taoist sense of the word. Uh huh. Interesting. Mm. Um, if the tree has a proper name, you don't know what it is. Okay. Um, I'm just imagining something from uh, another piece of media. I'm gonna link a picture backstairs. Feel free. I said backstairs, backstage. It's all good. I know what you meant. Any particular kind of tree or Wait, indeterminate? How, how in the hell did it? Ugh, the bot flagged it as explicit when it's not. Yeah. Okay. It does um, occasionally. Secondary question. Mm -hmm. Um, you mentioned damn hard to get to from the ground. How else does, is there another way Clan Girl attempts to ascend to this place? Too big, Vader. Okay. Um, they definitely have a way. You don't know what it is. Gotcha. Because they got, like, Diriax and, and like, all their, all their like, supplies and, and stuff, like, up here. Plus, they had to quarry the stone and get it up for the buildings. They've got to have a way of transportation. They've got to have a way up there. Not going to tell you what it is. Fuck no. Part of, the challenge is, part, part of the challenge is climbing the mountain. You got one more question. Um, do I have any suggestions from the group? None here. Any particular dangers on the way up other than gravity? Um... Uh... I mean... Killy Kill would know if the answer is, like, wild animals. But... If there's something beyond that... 
that Kilio could know, I would like that answer. Um... Not so much on the way up, but, like, as with everywhere, Wolf's Den, Bear's Heart, Eagle's Airy, like, there's a... There's a sense of... I'm trying to think of the word. Describe the word? I know how little that makes sense. Reverence. There's a sense of reverence that, like, overtakes you. Similar to being, well, at a sacred site for a person of that faith. Mm-hmm. Um... And there, there's this sense of, like, you don't want to be disrespectful. Like, every Goliath who has ever been to Eagle's Airy knows that, like, if that tree gets set on fire by a bunch of orcs, <laughs> it might be because the Goliaths go to war, or it might just be because Eagle comes down in a fucking sunburst and wipes the orcs out. Like... <laughs> Yeah, that tree ain't fallen if the or if the Goliaths can help it. Yeah, pretty much. Like, but like, I wouldn't say it an inherent danger. Nothing more dangerous than adventuring anywhere else. No. And it with the same conditions. But the thing is, you've never been to all of it. You're shown to like the public buildings, but like. You know there's places that outsiders don't go because Wolf's Den is like that. Yes. Bear's Heart is but like that. Like I'm, I'm gonna ask about Wolf's Den later. Yeah, like 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 Bear, Bear's Heart is a great example. Like nobody not in Clan Ver can go to the catacombs of of Bear's Heart. Like the 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 noble dead is the sacred trust of Clan Ver. You can say your goodbyes, you can have a funeral, but once you turn them over to Clan Ver, that's it. Yeah, so you better not leave any belongings you want for on them, on the person when they go in, because Clan Ver is not going to let you in. And like the, like the, like where the, where the pups are, for example, for Clan Roach, like, you're not going back there. You're just not doing it. Yeah, the, the Wolves' Den part of Wolves' Den is just a no-go zone for most people. So you know that there are places that are off-limits in Eagle's Airy. You have no idea what's there. You have no idea what it could be. But that, that, That's why I haven't pushed questions relating to... But you ask about danger, so I'm saying, like... Yeah, I don't know anything that's... And Bragg secret. alluded to it being firstborn in nature, so... There might be some danger there that Clan Grawl knows about, but you'd think Bragg would have told you. Yeah, if he knew, he would have. If he knew, yeah, exactly. I, I don't think Kilio says anything about it, but just, like, internalizing that information a little more deeply. It is going to be such a gigantic pain in the ass to get everyone up this trail um, i think she like takes a like a very tentative look at like dawn dawn will be fine iron gate and more to the point like <laughs> I the bird dawn was... oh the fucking bird oh <laughs> Popcorn's gonna try to climb the side of the mountain. Popcorn's gonna try to climb the side of the mountain. Oh my god. Popcorn will yeah, successfully popcorn climb the side of the mountain. Yeah, popcorn's a goat, man. <laughs> that motherfucker's gotta be at least 91 <laughs> degrees. He's got this. <laughs> I, I feel like if anyone, popcorn has the best chances. <clears throat> yeah, I yeah. didn't mention popcorn for that reason. Like, popcorn's <laughs> got this. Yeah, popcorn. Popcorn's like guys a game. But if I you speak with animals, he's gonna be like, "Come on, guys, why are you so slow? I'm all the way up we here." We we reach that mountain and popcorn Hello is Oh, down there. Can you see me? I'm popcorn. <laughs> the boy. That boy is going to be hydrated and flourishing on a mountain. <laughs> I love this bean. 
<laughs> oh my god, Popcorn is such a bean. Like, Trevar is gonna have issue, and Trevar doesn't have a rider. Yeah. And I don't think, like, Kivio is much too small to ride that horse. But also, like, something to think about, right? Yeah. It is single file up to the area. That trail is thin, and it's a long way down. Yeah. What if Oral sees your ass? Like, there ain't nothing we can do at that point. There ain't nothing you can do at that point. So now's the time to plan. I don't know if, don't know if it would even work, but would it be possible to do like critter-sized climbing harnesses in case they fall? Theoretically. But I... the, the thing about climbing harnesses is they have to be braced against something. Mm, that's true. Yeah. What are you going to brace tree bar against? Dawn. Uh, fair. <laughs> I likely weigh a significant bit more, so it's not a bad idea. Um, anyway, I think Kelly like, takes a look out to where the stables are for a moment. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Actually, we might have a problem with Eagle's Airy. Not any real danger, aside from the drop. The trail is thin, and if you fall, it's a long way down. Alright. Popcorn, for example, would be fine. Uh, looks at either the Codeon? That, that's the word, right? They would have a harder time. No, that's the word. Trevar would have a harder time. Speaking of Trevar. <sighs> The thought pains me. He doesn't have a rider anymore. It may be best if we passed him along in our travels. If we can find someone befitting. If anything, I think it would be uh, best if we could return it to his kin. I don't know if it's possible to get all the way to the Reghead Glacier right now. But if we find Reghead men, sure. Or we could, after we duel with our Oral, maybe we could stable him in the Dale somewhere until there's a clear path there. Wouldn't hurt. But I'd hate to bring him into any sort of danger in between now and then. They are well trained, but without a rider, I can't order them across the field. I don't have commands for them. Well, you, you could have... start. You could always start learning. And... Commands are probably in Rickhedrick. I don't speak it. Hey, but you do speak Critter. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. If nothing else, you could cast Speak with Animals and ask them what the words are and what your own words mean. If you wish to learn Wolf Walker, I could pass along my own knowledge of the language. That would be helpful. For sure. <sighs> anybody, like, I don't know if anybody's not taking breakfast. Guiding Wind and Iron Gate probably aren't today because they're not. Yeah, they're they're sleeping in. So that's, let's see, the doctor. Kilio, Lash, Irithyr, Dawn, Virga. 
That's six. Yeah, that's six. Mm -hmm. So I have six charges to mark off. They have to eat it within 12 hours of you making it, so it's not going to keep much longer. I mean, it'll keep, but it won't give the bit of it. Still, in this situation, any food is probably better than no food. True. At the point that it's getting ready to lose the effect, it would probably be best to eat it then. Prefer preferably on the people that need it the most. Yep. Right. So what do you guys want to do? The floor is I still say, yours. I say we go to the cairn. Care. Care. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Ha, uh, uh, ha, uh. ha. <laughs> Come on, man. God damn it. <sighs> if we're still here next session, carry on my wayward sons. I'm just to see if whatever protection we have still holds. I'm gonna go outside. Actually, wait, it's daytime now. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If, I don't know if they would still be attacking. One way to find out. True. Yeah, I, I guess. Rourke Kilio has been gone a while, Kilio. Yeah. Probably left before sunrise. You saw him leave. Yeah, before it was before sunrise, right? Mm-hmm. Does the sun even rise, though? It's the clouds are... Well, yeah. yeah. There's no sun, but it is, like, grayish outside. And I, yeah, I think yeah, was gonna, like, finish our bowl and get up to go step outside. Okay. And see if anything happens. Because she, she can, like, evade it with a misty step. Sure you can. Did uh, Rourke take anything with him when he left, or just himself? The supplies that Dawn created. Mm. And he's probably out distributing it. See, so yeah, I guess I will try you, to step outside. You open the door and you step out into the cold. Here we go. And I'm gonna do a rolling show. I'm kidding. Um, uh, <laughs> you're a funny person. Damn, you're right. You get that California out of your tongue right now. Here <laughs> 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 you, you pop out. You have a nice view of the, like it, it's brighter than it usually is, but it's not like sunny. But you have a nice view of the, the cliffs and the the frozen harbor and. It's starting to refreeze where um, where the the Rhineborn broke through, and the town mm -hmm. it, it's quiet, a little bit windy. Probably warmer than it is in the blizzard. But it's not as warm as it is inside by a long road. You're yeah, telling me sure. that this town actually has light. Like I'm saying, some... it's more light than you've been having. <sighs> like yes, the sun should be rising, but winter is causing it. But at at like noon, well, not, 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 like dawn, dusk, and I think noon, it, during the months of no sun, there are like streaks on the horizon that provide some light, but that's usually overcast by Arl's blizzard. But the sky is much clearer in Cairdenaval. Yes, I am telling you that. Okay. Interesting. I'm just like, look out over the town. Is there anybody out? Um, you can't see that far. I mean, okay. Towards this way. Right, I understand. Mm -hmm. Like, there's nobody that you can see in as far as you can see. It's still dark. Your dark vision still applies. You cannot see far okay. enough to see anybody. That That's fine, then. I think she'll go back inside. Okay. Doesn't seem like they're 
attacking us. They may be observing us, but I can't be sure. Well, that's a good sign. Kind of hard to be a lunar devil without the moon. Honestly, we break whatever's holding the storm back. We'll have a different set of problems, but half their effectiveness may be gone. Honestly, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you'll pardon the pun. I say... Either way, I, th I think we should at least talk to the people in the care to figure out what's really going on. I agree. I think she'll look to the group. Are we re are we ready to move? I'll go get my things and I'll be ready. All right. Be ready to fight if negotiations fail. I suppose. I think Kelly will like portion the broth into the flask that she would use for it. Mm -hmm. While everyone else is getting their stuff together. Okay. Lash has her full armor back on, the war banner, everything. And I think she, um, we drew, I drew her with a scarf in her art, I think, before she puts the helmet back up. She pulls that over her nose just for the extra layer. Nice. So you guys head up to the care? Yeah, I don't see why not. Are all of you going? If you're your plans to. Yeah, I don't see any reason to stick around. Lash is going with. Follow-up question. Are you taking any mounts? How bad of an uphill is it? How bad of an uphill? There's a path. But it's probably... Is there a reason Kilio would not? Um... Yeah, that's the question, right? To answer your question, it's probably about a 38 degree angle. Like, it's steep. Kilio takes her wolves everywhere. Is there an exception? anywhere for that for that thing um, on the one hand the doctor told you that there's bad people in the care on the other hand the doctor said diplomacy might work the doctor seemed rather wise mm hmm so I think I'm gonna leave the wolves behind. Okay. Um, if that's the case, would there be room for her to come along on popcorn as well? Yeah, totally. So hey. again. Again, are all of you going and what animals are you taking? I don't think Lash will bring the war pig. I think she'll walk. Okay. Uh, Irithyr is probably going to let Amalo rest. Okay. Since he's had it rough. Hey, uh, Wolf Walker, would you like to be a goat walker for all hill? Hey, it wouldn't hurt. And she'll scoot forward a little bit to make room. And she'll okay. pat Popcorn on the head as she goes around. Popcorn bleats at you. Pat, pat, pat. I think she'll smile, not try to say anything. Because she knows of Popcorn's opinions of people talking without him understanding. He has... <laughs> he has opinions. 
So you, you're casting speak with animals? No, I'm saying I know how he is. Okay. About people speaking when he can't understand. <laughs> yes. So, Irithyr is walking, Four Lash others. is walking. Uh, Firga is taking popcorn, and Keeler is riding popcorn. Don, are you going? Wow, I came back at a perfect timing. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you guys head up to the um, keep, and I have a thing to read. What's up? Are the Kodians coming, or just, or are no. they staying behind at the beat? In? They're they're sleeping in. Okay, go ahead. A sturdy stone castle, devoid of warmth and ostentation, squats atop the cliffs overlooking the town and the frozen harbor. Warding the castle entrance are thick, battle-hardened wooden doors. Four cylindrical guard towers have wind-worn flags bearing the town's heraldry fluttering above their tiled conical roofs. These towers are connected by icy battlements and, and parapets. Excuse me. Atop the castle walls and within the guard towers, torches flicker, but there are no other signs of life. To the front gate, I suppose. Hey, wouldn't hurt to knock. The yeah, big no. wooden gate is closed. Kilio will yell. Hey, anyone there? So we Paul come. Is... Sorry. And a halfling dressed in surf uh like servant's clothes appears on one of the battlements above the gate. You you heard him, like, plunk down a box. And he climbs up on it and appears over, but he's obviously a halfling when you see him. And he looks down, like, squints at the lot of you, and he says, No, thank you! We didn't even say what we wanted yet. We're not taking solicitors. We're not taking well-wishers. The speaker is far too sick to entertain guests. I am a doctor. The, um, court physician has the matter well in hand. No, thank you. Uh, don't suppose you could tell me the name, the name of this court physician. Uh, doctor, doctor. Doctor, Doctor. Uh, yes, That's... the world-renowned Doctor, Doctor. See, you've heard of him. Never Narrows heard of him. eyes. So you'll allow, you'll allow us in so I may speak to my brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I... Um... Yes, don't you know? Doctor, Doctor was adopted into my clan. He is a blood brother. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. Um, on the one hand, I want to give you advantage. Do any of us have inspiration to give them for advantage? Hang on, because you've, you've backed this halfling into a corner. And on the other hand, I want to give you disadvantage because the halfling knows you're full of shit. Um, so it's going to be a normal <laughs> roll. So the question still stands, do any of us have inspiration to give him for this? Uh, I don't think so. Unless you have it on your sheet already. All right, I'll roll against that. Wait, wait, does Lash have the war banner? Yes. I think the, the issue is I've been thinking, what's one of Lash's core tenets? Lying is a no-go. I mean, that's fair. If you don't want to give him the war banner, uh, it's not going to matter anyway. He beat you handily. Then again, this guy was also lying. So, so he just, like, uh, like, puts his hands on his hips. You see his, like, elbows sticking out about the parapet. He's like... I'll have you know, Dr. Doctor has been the court physician here since he apprenticed under the late, great uh, member of the Brotherhood, Dr. Surgeon. Ah, uh, so you know my mother as well. Ha! I've got you! Surgeon is a man! 
Oh my god. Yes. She's You're so full of man. shit. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm rubber on your glue. What about that, hmm? Irithyr, I've been doing this correctly. What? What's rubber? <laughs> rubber doesn't collect, conduct electricity, does it? I don't believe so. No. Um, why? Would you want me to test that theory? <laughs> How? Because otherwise, pray otherwise you tell. Are you going to? I I'm very confused. Because otherwise you're grounded, Mister. His hands. <laughs> Make an intimidation check. This, this man, this man high. is having a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this, like, we, we've seen the Nightlights version of Diplomacy. This is ours. Yeah, that's fair. So, like, he turns a shade that a halfling should not be able to turn. And he's like, I, Sorry. I, um, uh, 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 threats against this keep and... The speaker, ailing though he is, he's still a very important man, you know. Uh, threats such as this will be met with force, sir. I implore you to reconsider. Wait, wait, wait. this isn't a threat. And I, I implore you to let us in to allow us to help, so you don't force our hand. I. Out of curiosity, what's the name of the speaker? He is so honestly worried about. I have his name. I opened the wrong handout because I'm a dingus. What are you going to say, Gamzee? <laughs> I think Dahl just follows that up with, like, it should be known this is not a threat against the keep or your speaker. It is against you. I got something. <laughs> I got something. Hang on, hang on. Kranich Seaver! Speaker Kranich Seaver! Oh, we're guests of the speaker. Guests of. No, you're not. He's not taking any guests ever since we. <clears throat> ever since you, he took you! Do you see us ever being since attacked you what now? at the moment? Do you want to finish that sentence? <laughs> What'd you say, Don? Do you see us being attacked by the beasts right now? Uh, he looks to the left and right. Is that a trick question? I don't know, is it? I feel like this is a trick. I feel like you're all very tricksy, and so you need to go somewhere else and be tricksy over there. I don't suppose you could tell us what pre uh, what precise symptoms your uh, speaker has. Well, well this I awful blizzard is is taking a toll on everyone, you know. Uh, he's uh, he's uh, uh, he's got chills and 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 the sniffles. And, and, and he's terribly contagious, you know? Uh, uh, hi, then how aren't you sick? What is it the red hedge call it? Uh, bullshititis? <laughs> <laughs> I... I'm not... I, I, I'm... No, I'm, clearly he's suffering from mummy rot. A mummy? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, precisely! The speaker has mummy rot, yes! Oh, I'm a, a wizard, I know how to cure it. I did I say mummy rot? I meant, I meant, I meant, I meant, uh, uh, ghoul <laughs> fever. Yes, ghoul fever. Uh, Can we uh, speak to your superior? I'm uh, sorry, uh, no one is here right now. Uh, if you leave a message with the, uh, wait, no, that would be me. I'm not taking <laughs> your message right now, so go away. I if there's the no one cure. else here, then we can just come in, right? I, no, of course that is not at all permissible. No. Wait, if no one else, wait, <laughs> wait, if no one else is here, then where is the speaker? He's inside, of course, with, with. Can we please come in? I have a cure for ghoul fever right here, and he starts like rummaging through his bag. And slide tadpoles before you ask. This is an advanced strain of. School fever is for ah, I'll need the bath salts too, then. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking happening, I swear. <laughs> this happening is having a very bad day, and the champions of the north are having a very good time fucking with him. Yeah, so I think the happening's like, I'm sorry, I 
can't hear you. He, like, climbs off the box. I'm too short to hear you over the wall. Also, I'm going inside now. Goodbye. Hold on. I have a dumb, terrible <laughs> question. <laughs> Is the dumb, terrible question, what's the range of Sacred Flame? Um... I also have some questions. The, my dumb, terrible question my, is how tall is this wall? Uh, my, 80 feet. My, my first question is... Excuse me, 50 feet. Oh, my 50 feet! My question is if there's any glaring soft folk weaknesses in this gate. Oh, damn it. I was gonna I was gonna mold earth some of the... Try to mold, see if I could mold earth some of the bricks out of the way. You're going to destroy right. the gate. I'm not saying I'm going to destroy the gate. I'm going to. I'm saying. Uh. Well, I'll figure out what I'm going to say when I figure out if there's anything interesting about this gate. You cannot mold earth because it has to be loose earth. You can't do it to, like, brickwork on a building. Um. Make a stone cutting check, figure though the gate is wood technically, so mm. Well if it's wood, then I can use my wood carvers. I mean you could use stone cutting on the wall. That's fair. I could just dagger up the wall. You could just dagger up the wall. Um, I mean, like, yes, Firga, like, <laughs> ten dwarven phalanx, you know, two hours and a drill team, you're getting through this wall, but doing so would technically be an act of war? Like, it, it, it's stone construction of human origin, so a dwarf would have a field day with it, but there's, a, there's like, there's respect, right? Like, yeah. In, more, it, go ahead. more so, I was looking for fodder to fuck with him further. further. I, mean, I mean, he left, or claimed to have left. I have a new plan. Yes. Walk up to the gate. Okay. Knock. <laughs> The halfling said we could come in. No, I didn't! I mean, I'm not here anymore! <laughs> I'm sorry, he's not here anymore! See? He just said we could come in. I most certainly did not! Yes, you did! It looks like your halfling guard's falling ill. He's losing his mind. I most certainly did not say open the gate! The gate starts raising. <laughs> you <laughs> idiot! <laughs> <laughs> Close the gate! Uh, Don, make a dexterity it, saving throw. <laughs> what? Wait, what kind of gates are these? Make a dexterity saving throw kind of gate. I, oh god, no. Also, is the war banner. literal gates or... God damn it, uh, war banner. <laughs> are we talking door or port close here? Um, well, as I was about to say, Don, do you want to, like, catch the gate before it falls again? Yes. <laughs> make a straight, make an athletic check. Oh my god. <laughs> Do we get any kind of bonuses to this due to sheer size? Yeah, the war banner. Um, <laughs> due to sheer size, yeah, you get the ability to make the check. That's um, fair. So an 11 is unfortunately not enough. Can I dagger underneath the thing? <laughs> god. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yes, but you have to hit a DC of 18 with your dagger throw. Okay. Completely possible. I have to roll a 7. Is that it, Chief? <laughs> Fuck you. All right. So it's like, Don, you grab it and you can't hold it. And you have to let go of it really quick. But you hear the sound of Kelia warping. Kelia, you're now standing between two gates. Is the gate like a bunch of bars or is it completely wood? It's completely wood. It's two like raised wooden planks, basically. Uh... You see 
um, cauldrons above you. They do not seem to be in use currently. Okay, so Kilio's in the murder pit. Yes, exactly. Kilio made it to the murder pit. <laughs> Kilio, you, you, you see a, a very distraught halfling looking down at you. Like, hey! I did not say you could come in! You I, said open the gate! Thank you, I, I appreciate it. I did not say- You need to go back out this instant, I will call the well, guards! Well, you need to open the- you need to open the gate first. I- you got yourself in, you can get yourself out again. No, well, no, technically you need to open the gate. I can't get out unless you open it. I... Hey, you started to open it, and that's when she went in. She didn't go through when it was closed. Yeah. You almost crushed me with it. You're lucky I'm not asking for reparations. I... You can take it up to the speaker when he's feeling <laughs> better. We, we can help. We can make them feel better. I know I a would... fantastic Dwarvish lawyer if you want to take it up. Dwarfish <laughs> lawyer, I don't think that will be necessary. Uh, Dwarves would be the best. All right, all right, you, 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 tricksy foreigners. Now you listen to me. If I, <laughs> Kili, you see him look into the courtyard. Do that thing that you said, and I'm not saying it, Charles. Oh, specifically. <laughs> if, <laughs> If I do that thing, or say that thing, and make that thing happen, you have to promise me that you'll walk outside again, and not the rest of you file in like so many... Hold on, hold on. ...annoyances. I'm sorry. I heard that name, right? Charles, yes. Charles, there's two platinum in it for you if you open the gate. Charles! <laughs> the fists will have your hand, I mean, the speaker will have your head if you touch that leather! You'll have our protection. Who? You have oh. damnation! Two platinum and a gold. No response. I'm, I'm sorry. That's chump change. Hang on. <laughs> oh no. Oh okay. no. Okay. Okay. That's, That's chump change. I, I just offered 30 that. 30 plat for you if you open the gate. How much? 30 plat. Make a persuasion check. Helio is out of range of the war banner lash, but thank you. Nope, that ain't happening. <laughs> well, now, 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 hang on, sir, before you say, <laughs> nope, that ain't happening. Okay. Let me that's just... A, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Do you want to give the guy disadvantage? <laughs> so, <laughs> what you hear is... I don't know, man. I'm damned anyway. You got it? Charles, they most certainly do not have it! No! We also I do! We also have food we can give you. Is it hot? It can be. <laughs> Charles, step away from that left. Charles! The gate starts to open. <laughs> <laughs> when the gate opens on my side, I hold out the, uh, I count out 30 platinum. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> the spluttering half leg, like, yeah, like, it's, it's just this, like, <sighs> overworked college freshman age human, like, takes the platinum with that, she's like, cool, I'll have to spin this before I die, but thanks. By the way, that guy is a cult member. Most of these guys are cult members, and I'm out of here. Good man. Ah. Pat Pat. Oh, Just like, this guy sounds like one of my fucking co workers. Looks up at the halfling and twirls their dagger. We'll have no trouble from you, right? I'm out of range of any such throwing knife, I'll have you know. As soon as I find an obelisk, you're going to be sucked. Kilia's gonna, like, ping her dagger off the back wall and go up to right above him. <laughs> so, what the rest of you hear is the gates opening, and this, again, overworked college freshman walks out, is just the shrillest shriek you've ever <laughs> heard in your entire life. Like, he throws himself bodily to the floor and wraps both of his arms and both of his legs around his head. Oh, come on, I wasn't even aiming for you. Lash is fucking dying. 
So... He's just he's just shouting struck by lightning over and over. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I can't even hit you. Come on now. Such a baby. Sorry. No, she wouldn't say that. Such a pup. Yeah, so I'm um, gonna need you guys to go for initiative. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll go ahead and move I'm, go I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put you guys on the board. Give me just a second. I swear to God, I'm gonna grab this little shit like a nine year old grabs a Barbie doll. I think Gilio's got it. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, don't don't roll quite yet. Let me let me get you guys oh. on the board first. I wish I got key before figuring out that the bathroom was occupied. What did I miss? Last thing I heard was struck by lightning. Uh, well, what you missed is Kilio's about to get fucked. That's what you missed. Bye, Kilio. Yeah, bye, Kilio, indeed. Um, this is a mini game where if Kilio dies. Rocks fall, the halfling dies. Oh wait, I'm putting this on the wrong map. Hang on. I am a dingus. Let's go over here. Rocks fall, the Goliath di uh, dies, sir. Doot. Okay. Let me drag you guys onto the board. So let's see. Dawn is down here by the gate. You are a large man, Breaking Dawn. Irithir is down here. Uh, Fida guy is down here. Lash is down here. Kilio, meanwhile, is up here. There we go. Everybody on the board? Good. Uh, I'm gonna need those initiatives now, please. Uh, if uh, we're uh, supposed to be on a different map, uh, we're still on the map yeah, of Yeah, we're still on Kiradenimal. Yeah. Thank you. Boop. I rode mine prematurely. Aha, uh -huh. here we go. Very pong. I just... No, oh, dear. Give me one second. Boop. Boop. I'm sorry, where are we on the map? Uh, you guys are over here. Aha! I can't, I can't have that first initiative. Uh, no, you can. Yay! Thank, Thank you, honey. Um, is Fyrka supposed to be twice the size of some of these cultists? Uh, um, don't worry about the cultists. That's not the concern right now. I'm more thinking in terms of scale. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Thank you. This is one of those weird maps where a, where a square is ten feet. Oh, I get to move four squares. So for some messed up reason, you guys are more like this. Thank you, Firga. No problem. Okay. I believe you can accommodate for that in the map settings. Just set for each uh, grid space I to be. I can, but it doesn't affect the size of the token, which is saved elsewhere. Huh. Okay. I have the. Uh, I rolled mine on the previous page. It should be the nineteen point sixteen. It's yeah. It's already in. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I don't see it on the initiative tracker. I have it on mine. Okay, weird. Everybody in? Looks like everybody's in. Okay. So, Kilio, you get to act first. You're like, come on, I didn't even hit you. You look up and you see four of those slow moving orbs coming at you. <sighs> of course. Of course. Um, okay, so what the fuck do I do from here? Uh... Sorry, I'm back. I had to pee. No worries. Where you going, Kilio? Uh, Kilio's about to get dunked on, that's what. What are you doing, Kilio? Oh, 
Hello? I'm, I'm thinking. Hello? Hang on. Um, my dagger doesn't do anything to those. Uh, I'm just I'm just gonna have to mini shot them. Uh, all right. Well, yelling to the cowering halfling. Mm-hmm. If you could call those off, I suggest you do it now. Okay. And I'm going to Zephyr Strike and mm -hmm. mini shot them. Giving me advantage on these attack rolls and they deal force damage. You're mini shotting the beams? Yes, the uh the balls. Okay. Slow slow moving light balls. Go ahead and make your attack. There's four of them. Within range of war banner or no? No. Damn it. We said they have a 12 last time I checked. Yeah. With advantage on them because of the uh, Zephyr Strike. No, you have advantage on the first one with Zephyr Strike. No, this counts as one attack. We established that already. They're being let off at the same time. Okay, you you dispel them, but that's gonna be your turn. Hello. We hear you. I can't. I can't hold the other attack. You shot five, dude. Oh, the second no. attack. Yeah, second attack. I can't hold um, the second one. Let me make sure these things. Oh no, no, they are. Yeah. Um. I think that's going to be my turn, but that's their their thing. Okay. But there, there was that threat to the the halfling. Yep. Dawn. Okay. Uh, the the gates are open, right? Yep. Gates okay. are open. Uno, dos, tres. That, that should actually be thirty. That feet, was I thirty believe. feet. Yeah, I still have ten more. Okay. Where is Kilio? On top of the wall. There's a map of the second story on the right. Ah, so there is. I know what to do here. I guess for the moment. For the moment, we prepare for anything. Okay. Uh, what I'm saying is I'm holding my action to beat the fuck out of anything that comes near me that isn't a friendly okay Fierga alright so Fierga's still on popcorn right mhm mm let's see right it's not gonna do the thing um 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 35, 40. Um. Yeah, popcorn's gonna keep moving a bit and get inside the wall, so I should end up here. Okay. And then I am going to use my. Is it a bonus action or an action? Hang on. Uh, action to pop out my Eldritch Cannon. Okay. All right, Scout, open items. Yep. And Hand handheld variant. Yeah. Okay. And that'll be my turn. Okay. Here with here. All right. So, are these fucks visible or? 
The cultists? No. I meant the the lunar devils. Also no. All right. But I saw the orbs explode. Yes. Here we go. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cast see invisibility. Okay. I will. Link. Thank you. For the duration, you see invisible creatures uh, and objects as if they were visible. You can see into the ethereal plane. Ethereal creatures and objects appear ghostly and translucent. Okay. <laughs> there are four ghostly and translucent, large, vaguely wyvern-shaped creatures. One on the parapet of each tower. Uh huh. Well. Excuse me. Huge, not large. Yeah. Well, I can't get up to the I can't get up these towers from where I am so I'm gonna go ahead and move 10 20 I know uh 30 feet will get me here okay just start moving in basically all I right think that's my turn and the lunar devils fuck one of them uh, jump What's up? Don't they commit to that attack when they do the spheres and they can't do it that round? Nope, that was the previous round's attack. <sighs> okay. The, the age-old surprise round. So first boy jumps down into the courtyard. You feel the vibration on the ground as this thing drops down. And another... And then Kilio is going to get ass blasted in the face. What? Are they invisible right now? They are. They are. Fuck. They're Did invisible I... to everyone but Earth here. Hello? Hello, what? Hello? Can you tell if my, uh, my internet had died out because I asked, I, did I hear my name? No, you did not. Uh, 21 to hit, Kilio? Um... <sighs> I'm considering Misty Stepping. Okay. I've got Dim HP, I can take one. Okay. I'm gonna end up, I'm gonna end up taking one anyway. Uh it's twenty points of radiant damage, and I'm gonna need you to make a constitution every throw. I think it's con, let me double check. Yep, con. Oh wait. Fuck. They're doing the spheres. They're doing the shorter range version, yeah. Okay, I would see that more coming more or less. I think I would Misty step out of the way. I didn't know that I would see that. I didn't know that was that. I would have seen that coming. Okay, so you're Misty stepping? I think so. Well, no, I'm gonna miss there, there, there's no I think so. Either you are or you're not. I've already rolled damage. You said... Okay, I can take one, and then I roll damage, and then you were like, wait, 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 wait. Like, by accounts, I should hold your feet to the fire. Are you Missy stepping or not? I am. Where are you going? Uh, I'm gonna go here. Okay. Second attack. 19 to hit. I can't, yeah, that hits. 24 points of radiant damage, and you need to make a con save. Yep. As they fail, you are blinded for the next 16 seconds. Excuse me. 24 seconds. And you're glowing, which means attack when you have advantage. And they're both going to move in. That's what, four rounds? Correct. 
Meanwhile, down here, these two kaiju boys are going to run in and run in. Dawn, you are going to take... What's his attack action? It's pretty bad. Yep. You're going to take three attacks, Dawn? Okay. First attack, 19 to hit. Yeah, that'll land. Oh, sorry, I got to reload real quick. Okay. Please remind me that you got hit by the bite attack. Second attack, 24. You got hit with the claw attack. Okay. And... 18 to hit. Uh, I think all of those hit. Okay, so you got hit with all three. Theater got, same question. First attack, 22 to hit. Um... There's something wrong. Definitely not a hit. Second attack, 11 to hit. Third attack, natural 20. Mm. Uh, okay. Which one is this? That's the tail. All right. Okay. So, real quick. Yep. While it's on the table, uh, I can't see it, but I can feel it. Oh, can that's that... right. You can't see it. They have advantage. Thank you. That is not where I was going with that. <laughs> uh, so, oh, Firga, no. the second attack is actually a 24 to hit. Still not a hit. Okay. Uh, so I just want to roll these three for Dawn and see if any of those are in that 20. Where are you going with that? Uh, they are not. Dawn. Go ahead. I was, I was going to say, could, could them hitting be justification for my held attack you'd have disadvantage ah uh, we take those okay roll it that's a, uh, that would be a natural 20 except you are at disadvantage uh but a 21 still hits i mean hey that's not bad damage where's the radiant damage coming from uh, that is my super fancy ability that I didn't put in on my sheet. I'm a fuck up. <laughs> um, no. What didn't you put let in? Me, let me let me pull up the cleric sheet, um, real quick, and I'll tell you where it's coming from. Eighth level. That Eight. doesn't tell me anything. Right. Eighth level yeah. clerics get blessed strikes. Yes, and we also get potent spell uh, potent. Is that spell every attack? Yes. Are you sure? Almost certainly. It might be the first attack each round. Well, then, yes, it is every attack, because I only get one. Uh, okay. Once on each of your turns. And I only get one attack, so yes. So that's... Total of that much damage. Um, your sword bites a lot harder than it did last night. Just so you know. Uh, however, they bite harder. So first of all, fear gets natural 20 with a tail attack. Fear you're going to take 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Dawn? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. I I am I am happy to accept my fate, whatever it may be. I have to roll these individually because I'm gonna hit you really freaking hard. Probably. So that was the bite attack, 13 points of piercing damage. Okay. Then The claws, another 10, and then the tail. Another 11. So a total of 34 points of damage. Yo, that hurts, but I'm doing pretty okay. It could have been a lot worse.
The fact it wasn't is a blessing of the mother. Yes. Okay. Uh, so that is their turn. Lash. Yep. You're up. Um, remind me of what the measurements for this is again. Like, 15 uh, 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 is actually 30? Yeah, just double it. Yeah, double it. Okay. Zwoop. Okay. And I'm going to use my action to dash. Zwoop. Okay. Okay. What the fuck is happening in here? <laughs> I can't get it to uh, where, I'm, where I need it to be for it to be correct, so I'm sorry. That's fine. Sorry, real right. quick, how much damage did you say it was? 32? 34. 34. Oh. Top of the round. That's Helio, okay. before your turn... The doors here and here open, and six people run out carrying crossbows. Okay. Likewise, door at the back opens, and these boys come out carrying crossbows. And yeah, nothing happens up by you, Tilio. But yeah, the the champions in the courtyard, you're surrounded by people brandishing crossbows at you. Tilio, it is your turn. Okay. Oh, damn it. So I am blind. Yes. I can't make an additional save against that. You can at the end of your turn. At the end of my turn. Wait. No, you can't. <sighs> you're blind for four rounds. You're dazzled. Okay, that's fine. Killy's gonna close her eyes. Okay. And focusing through my suit of armor before I move, mm -hmm. I'm gonna use the 10 feet of tremor sense that I get from the suit of armor. Mm -hmm. Um, is the fucking halfling next to me? What is it? Is he like cowering or yeah, he's cowering. what is he? Okay. So... Absolute genius. I'm gonna step around him. Okay. To here. Mm-hmm. My tremor sense let me see this person? What person? Not the person, the, uh... It is 20 feet away. 20. The map for crawl. <sighs> These maps are a pain in the ass for me, too. Before you get I upset. Hate, I hate that. Same. Okay. So moving to here. Fuck, I hate this token map. I mean, so, again, so do I. Here, I'd be able to sense it with Tremor Sense. No, because it is up. You would be going into the tower, it's on top of the tower. I see no reason to duck into the door. No reason to duck into the door? No, no reason not to. I got one for you. How do you well, know the door's there? Know. Tremor sense. The door's not tremoring. Like, yes, I'll, I'll give I, you, I'll, I will give you. You know there's I, a wall there. I... Would it not work as in, let's say I put my foot down and it gives me any kind of feedback? No, because if you move, it distorts the hairs. I told you this. You have to be still for the tremor sense to work. 
You get tremors it's because of the worm hairs on your armor. If you move, it disrupts them. I told you this when you got it. E okay. That's fine. You were looking I at the halfling. You misty stepped and got blinded. Is it fair to say, hey, there's a door in, in this tower? Yes, absolutely. But if you're going to fumble around for it, just finding it is going to cost you your action. I, I mean, don't know what to do here. Your action just to find it and get in. This is realistically, like, I don't. Can Kilio could Kilio survive one of those three piece combos that Dawn and Beard are just <laughs> took? Listen, these icicle chupacabra motherfuckers <laughs> just hit us with that KFC finger looking <laughs> awful three piece bitch wing combo. All right. Man, that and we have fried chicken nickname for tonight. I love fried chicken, man. Oh, uh. good. Suffer. Why you gotta do me like that? <laughs> Why you gotta hit me with an icicle chupacabra three piece combo? <laughs> blame blame <laughs> Nightfall. Night, Nightfall's the one that initiated combat. Only the Dr. Dr. Br bluff worked. It did. You got the gates open. Someone pressed it. I fucked it up. Yeah. <sighs> I, I don't really have any other options here. I'm blinded and I can't really do anything else. I mean, not to put to find a point on it, but you're you're struggling, so I'm gonna help you out. Go go back over here. Don't waste your movement fumbling over there. You've got tremor sense, you know where the don't. edge of the wall is. Just drop the dagger over the side. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do that. You dingus! Just drop the dagger down. Uh, You're gonna land over here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna warp safely to the ground because that's how the dagger works. You're gonna lean against the wall and then you're gonna be like, "Guys, I can't see." Done. Like, <clears throat> you know the others are down here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you've still got your action. Like that was a bonus action. Um. You can always dodge. True. I think I'm gonna take that dodge action. Go okay. on, dodge. Kids, remember the three rules of rogue. Does dodge action help me if I'm blinded and can't see it coming? I was literally about to say, could somebody check the blinded condition and make sure that that's gonna do something. Uh, I'm gonna check. Thank you. Uh, speaking of the blinded condition, since apparently a Scout doesn't see so much as he scans, does that make him immune to it? At least from typical sources? Uh, technically, yes, but electricity can fuck with him. Yeah. I'm uh, reading blinded. Oh. A blinded creature can't see and automatically fails any ability check that requires sight. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage in the creature's attack. Rolls have disadvantage. Okay. It doesn't say anything about it. It would make it a normal roll. What is the Except dodge action to? Two. Uh, it gives you uh, it gives any attack against them disadvantage and gives you advantage on dex saves. That's it. Uh, wow. I so. Okay. Wow. So on the uh, one, I'm gonna look at it real quick. On the one hand, there is check. an argument to be made for not letting you dodge while blinded, and I don't think you could fault me for saying there's an argument there, Kilio. Yeah, that, that's fine. On the other hand, you are fucked if I don't. Uh, I'm gonna I'm a make you something real quick, Kat. I know where, like, Yo. the gate is. Could I duck back in there? Oh, 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 hold on, homie. When you take the dodge action, you focus entirely on avoiding attack. The start of your next turn, any attack roll made against you has disadvantage if you can see the attacker. I'm standing still. I have tremor sense. Sure, from the melee attacks, I will 100% give you that. But if they blast you with moonlight, you can't dodge. 
I think that's fair. It I think, is. I think that's a compromise. It is. Like, if, if, if somebody comes into melee range with you while you're blinded, but you have tremor sense, 100%. Sure. Cool. If somebody, like, any ranged attack, that's not going to count. I think I'm going to spend my movement, go towards the wall. I can't put my token of flesh with the wall. That's fine. And I, like, I know where the where the gate is. I know the gate's here. Duck in there. Okay. That, that That's your turn. Yeah. Okay. And with the dodge action for the melee bullshit. Dawn. Oh. Uh... One sec. Okay. I'm fuddling. Did you say muddling? Fuddling. Fuddling. Okay. So, there are two angles I can approach this from. A. I can ruin the, I can ruin the advantage they have on us even further <laughs> beyond what Irithyr is already doing. I have a counter argument. If you'll hear me. Okay. Mm -hmm. You cannot survive another full attack. No. I mean, no matter what, I'm going to bonus action healing word. Okay. But for my main action, I can either lock down these three schmuckle fucks. Who three? Um, the cultists. Mm. Over, over here. These three. It's three dudes with light crossbows. You're really more concerned about them than the fucking Icicle Chupacabra? No, but we don't need another pain in the ass when we're already getting acupunctured with a needle big enough for God. I'm just saying, like, three dudes, hell, nine dudes with light crossbows, like, Firka calls that sparring practice. Like, that ain't nothing for you guys. I'm just saying, <clears throat> like... One three, crit from these guys is oof. Three chihuahuas with a Rottweiler is still three chihuahuas. <laughs> wow, valid. Three chihuahuas is more of a threat than three mooks with light crossbows for the champions. God. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I can either test my daylight theory, or I could cast Tremor Sense and delete their advantage. I don't know about you, but I vote daylight. <laughs> Fill him with daylight. Daylight is basically just a spell. Be it's... Before you take your action, mm -hmm. can I point out something to you? Yeah. I already told you your sword is biting harder than it was last night. Right. <laughs> oh, fuck my looks. I would take the tremor sense. Third point, then, yeah. I could also guiding bolt are you, one are, of them. Are, are you gonna bank on sunlight sensitivity on top of moonlight empowerment? Like, because if you just want to power them down, I've already established they're powered down. Are you really gonna bank a spell slot right now on sunlight sensitivity? That's fair. Good. Like if, the, uh, if these were like vampires I'd be like hell yeah do it But like If I were in your position and I didn't like Yes okay I have the stat block in front of me And you might be right But if I was in your position That is not a gamble I would make Not knowing what your health is I would not make that gamble Yeah I would heal myself and I would heal Kelia That's fair because Kelio is going down as well. If like if if Dawn and or Fear God do not hold, Kelio is dead. Kelio got jacked the fuck up. All right. Well, I don't. I there could be better options, but what I'm going to do? Wait. Yeah, there could be better options, but I might as well cure wounds myself. Healing word, Kelio. Okay. Here's me. 
Again, all I'm out. saying is what I would do in your position. You both get 10 healing. Well. That gives me the possibility of surviving a three-piece. No, wait a minute. That would be... I get an additional three HP. Yep, so you'd get 13. Okay. Well, I might be able to survive another Chupacabra three-piece combo. <laughs> Virga. Okay. Um... So you got six dudes with light crossbows over here. Three dudes with light crossbows over here. And something shook the the courtyard in generally this direction. You did just get thumped on, like your shield got thumped on, so... Yeah, I'm gonna try and swing with my, uh... I'm gonna join the two axes together and swing with it in the area I got thumped on. Uh... No, there... wait, I have, uh, scout out, don't I? Yeah, I thought but... scout was built into your gauntlet, yeah, so scout, you could... Yeah, scout, well, no, it's not built into the gauntlet, but he doesn't take your hand. Okay, then yeah, pull out the axe. Uh, swing in that general direction. Yeah, disadvantage. Roll it. I'm going to have to tank purely off of healing. Yeah. Uh, that hits, Virga. Uh, let's see. Uh, plus two silvered hand axes. Oh, good. Must be used as a set when attuned. They gain a sickly sheen and the woodwork. They gain an additional die. It can be combined to a battle axe. Okay, yep. The poison is recursive. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, so because these are silvered, uh, that's gonna apply that. Can you roll the damage again, please? Uh, sure. And they have disadvantage on this save. So that is. Ooh, okay. They've got pretty good of this, but odds are. Uh, I can't do. I can't get it to roll just the damage, so I'm just gonna roll the the entire attack again, real quick. That no no, yeah that's fine. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Pass the save. Uh, could you do? So, do they still take the poison damage if they pass the save? Uh, let me check. Either way, taking that much. I don't remember if he told us if uh, it's half damage or no damage from the poison. Yeah, I don't think he said. Okay, is there a poison condition associated with it, or is it just the poison damage? didn't say uh okay. it's just poison damage as far then, as i can then tell no if they say they don't take the poison damage okay <laughs> so it doesn't have it or anything no okay uh okay your your axe bit into him pretty hard all right you want to do anything else if i get off um, popcorn, can I still direct him where to go, or would I have to actually ride him? Um, no, I don't think you can guide popcorn specifically where you want him to go unless you're on his back. Okay, that's it then. Okay. You don't want to use your bonus action? Uh, what can I do as a bonus action? Hang on. You can shoot the cannon as a bonus action. I thought that was an uh, my action. I'm pretty sure it's a bonus action. I'm pretty sure it is a bonus action, because I think Sparky could do that. <laughs> oh, it is a bonus action. I'm sorry. I thought... Okay, it's just making it that's the action. Mm -hmm. Alright, then yeah, definitely bonus action that. Okay. Uh, same target. We'll roll it then. Yeah, disadvantage for making a ranged attack at close range. Doesn't work. 
I was gonna say, but it's invisible anyway, so it's already disadvantage, but yeah. No effect. Okay. Here is here. All right. I see you, Spawn of Levistus. Be gone. And, uh... Oh, uh, we're gonna send a whole hog on them. Okay. Uh, I see or... you, Spawn of Levistus. And Irithyr was never heard from again. Um... <laughs> well, the good news, Kilio, is you're not going to get dunked on next round. Yay! The bad news is Irithyr's going to get fucked. <sighs> uh... R.I.P. Irithyr. <laughs> Let me check your, out one of Your vice is appreciated. <laughs> Ripithyr. But also, that's a fucking badass line. Yes, Let it is. Like something. Is there anything I can do? Yes, I have my shield. Let me double check the rules for that. Anyways. Anyways, I started blasting. Oh, God! Uh, yeah. Uh, that's, like, too big, but... Yeah, whatever. Uh, just just give me give me the line that you want. Yeah, uh, sorry. I, I, I gotta... I need, both, I need both hands for this, so I gotta stop pressing my push to talk one second. That's fine, that's fine. Alright, so you're just gonna smote one of these cultists and you're gonna burn an AoE spell on, on this boy. Alright. Cool. I would highly I... recommend call lightning. You know what? You're right. I also would recommend call lightning. Uh-huh. Uh let me look at the specifics for the spell again, because I did prepare it. Uh oh, actually wait, ten... doesn't call lightning conjure a cloud overhead? Yes, it does. It does. Yeah, oh, uh, a storm wait. cloud appears. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and link this spell. A storm cloud appears in the shape of a cylinder that is 10 feet tall and, six, and a 60 foot radius. A 60 foot radius. That's 120 feet Fuck of cloud me. coverage diameter. Centered on a point you can see 100 feet directly above you. The spell fails if you can't see a point in the air where the storm cloud could appear. When you cast, so the entire courtyard is in shadow. When you cast a spell, choose a point you can see within range. A bolt of lightning flashes down from the cloud to that point. Uh, each creature within five feet of that point must make a dexterity saving throw. A creature takes lightning damage on a failed save or have as much as a successful one. On each of your turns until the spell ends, you can use your action to call down lightning in this way again, targeting the same point or a different one. If you are outdoors in stormy conditions when you cast a spell, the spell gives you control over the existing storm instead of creating a new one. Under such conditions, the spell's damage increases accordingly. I feel dirty with what I'm about to say. Uh-huh. Take the buff Groofy games. Oh, oh. gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, what are you doing? No. Irithyr gains Winds of Winter. The Frost Maiden guides your hand as a buff. Oh. Okay. All I can imagine is Aurel and her hour. Oh, shit. This is going to be funny as hell. Uh, how, uh, how dare these beauty yes. cultists Raise fuck your, with my terrain? For, for the duration of Aurel's... So, first of all, you are aware that Oral is now aware of you. First point. Uh-huh. Second point, Oral really wants you to get rid of these fuckers. Raise uh -huh. your spell save by two. Okay. And the call lightning does an equal amount of frost damage. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> okay. The base damage is 6d10. I wonder if I wonder if these things are immune to that frost damage. Hell no, they're not immune to frost damage. <clears throat> so... Of course, they probably will... Base God damage is 6d10, you said? Base damage is 6d10, plus an equal amount of cold damage. Jesus. She All wants right. you to get these guys gone so she can wreak havoc on the town. Exactly. That is exactly what is happening. Uh-huh. You uh, object 
objective, like, our new objective is defend Irithyr. So straight up, I have to change this music. I have music for Oral the Frost Maiden. I have to break it out. Oh shit. Oh no. Actually, yeah, that'll do. All right. Well, uh, you're you're so as you go to cast a spell, your perspective changes. And you see this giant, like extremely beautiful, but coldly beautiful woman standing on a palace made of ice and black stone, looking out over the frozen sea. And she's just singing and her eyes are right on you. And like, you're, you're aware that you're empowered, but you're also aware of, oh, fuck. Uh, which which one are you targeting? Uh, I think I'm going to target the one on the right. Okay, so he needs to make a save. Uh, he passed his save, so he's going to take half damage. Could you roll 60-10 for me, please? Uh-huh. <laughs> cool. Uh, so he's going to take 17 points of lightning damage. And an additional 17 points of cold damage. Cool. Okay. Anything else? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. To be fair, you did exactly what Oral wanted, so of course she's going to empower you. Uh huh. She's a goddess. That's how they work. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. I think Levistus is getting a pen pal in his glacier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Arl is singing like beautiful things to Irithyr. She's singing of Renlo Seekatil. She's singing of the perfection of the Snow Elves. She's singing of uh, Tavaster's accomplishments. She's singing of Irithyr's accomplishments. She's singing of the power that you wield through the Weave of the Stars. Fuck! But, but at the same time, it's Aurel! Like... Yeah... She's kissing your ass, but she's still a bitch. You got anything else? Uh... That's my action. I don't really think I have a bonus action to pull out. Okay. The Lunar Devils. By the way, you're the only one who can hear the singing. It's just eerily quiet for the rest of us. Yes. More boys appear. They look up at the, the, the growing storm cloud, and one of them says, uh, anybody speak Celestial? Kilio does. Kilio does. Kilio, you hear in Celestial, kill the elf, the witch is coming. Oh, fuck. I'm real, real sorry, Irithyr. This might take you out. You're going to take four attacks. All at the same time? Yep. Well, no, one, one after the other. You'll only be able to miss you step one, unfortunately. Objective? Survive. Yeah, pretty much. Um, the shield. Is Lash within range to try and help with you that? You are not. Oh, fuck. Ten to hit. Does not hit. Sixteen to hit. Uh, yeah, that would hit me, uh, if, uh, shit, how do I want to spend my reaction here? It won't hit me if I cast shield, but others might still. What would your AC be after shield? Uh, 19. It's not bad. Um, surviving two almost guarantees you're going to survive this volley. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pop shield. Okay. 
23 to hit. That'll hit. And 16 to hit. Does not hit. Okay, that's not bad. That could be a lot worse. Uh-huh. Thirteen points of radiant damage, and I need a con save, please. Uh huh. That is a fail. You are also blinded and glowing. Lash. Great. Hi. Um. Fuck my initial plan. Oh, How wait. badly did Earthier just get hit? Am I within 10 feet of Lash, though? No. No, okay. You're about 15 feet away from her. Why? Uh, her aura of protection. I don't have that. Do you what not? Do you, what do you mean you don't have that? I'm that's, a, always... that's a different thing, I thought. Oh, wait, no. no that, that's a base paladin ability. I'm stupid, sorry. What's the range of your wait. war banner? The war banner is... um. 30? Finding it, I don't remember. I'm sorry. 30. It's 30. Sorry, Sorry, which square is Lash standing in? Hang on. What's the range of your aura protection? 10 feet. Yep. There's your two auras, Lash. Cool, thank you. Irithyr is just in range of your aura protection. That's a plus four to that save, then. That's not enough. Nah. Do they get war banner on the save? Yes. How many do I need? One. Do yeah. any of us have inspiration to give them for this? This would be a, like... Do none of you have inspiration? I'm surprised. Nope. Nope. You haven't given us any. I'll give it to Firga and Irithir for the scene in the tavern. Thank you. It's up to you if you want to take that, that blindness or not. Irithir. Still not enough with War Banner? No. All right. Uh, I'm going to spend my inspiration to reroll. Okay. I need the War Banner again, please. There you go. That's an actual 20. You're not blinded, but you are glowing. Okay. <sighs> if we had Guiding Wind, we could have... That... Flash. Irithyr still got fucked up regardless, right? Eh, he didn't get hit that hard, all things considered. Plus, I had temp HP to soak some of that damage. Fair. Because my original plan was going to be back up a bit and then drop into Tunnel Fighter in case they try to get any closer to us. These things don't need to get close to you, though. They've got a badass range attack. Fair fuck enough. The only problem is Lash can't see. Or at least she can't see any of the things attacking them. Well, that's valid. You have a way to fix that? I'm trying to check, but I don't think I do. Paladins don't get the ability to see in the invisible. I think they do. You, there's an I'm ability called saying, Divine Sense. Which yeah. I, I'm just saying you could aim for where you just watched lightning strike. You can use Divine Sense. There is also branding smite. There's one of them that makes the target glow. Checking, because I think I have branding prepared. It might not be branding. Branding might do damage over time, but I think there's one that uh -huh. makes them glow. Searing uh -huh. smite does damage over time. Oh, then branding I smite might be the one. Where is branding? There's branding. Sending it so I can read it. The next, okay. The attack gives it 2 radiant damage, uh, which becomes visible if it is invisible. Okay, fuck that shit. We're going with a random smoke. And the, and the target God. sheds dim light in a five foot radius and can't become invisible until the spell ends. Nice! Okay, so uh, which one did Irithyr just fucking strike with lightning? The one by Firga. Then Lash will head over to Firga. Okay. Dude. Yep. And, uh,. Do, do, do. do I have to call which one of these attacks Branding Smite is on first? No. no. You cast Branding Smite as your bonus action, and then the next time you hit, it triggers. Cool. So, uh, I have an extra attack, so two force attacks with the whip. Cool. That you have disadvantage because you can't see them. Yeah. Fuck. Oof. 
Neither hits, unfortunately. Yeah. Inspiration if you want it. I'm still rolling at disadvantage no matter what. What's your attack bonus? Uh, plus six with the whip. Okay, uh... I'm wondering if I give you a 12, will that hit? I don't know. So, let, let me offer this. If you give Lash a 12 for the first attack, and Firga gives inspiration for the second attack, that's potentially two hits. Just saying. What are you doing? Hello? We hear I, you. We hear you. Guys. We're... I have no say in this. This is for the other two. I mean, you... Do? I can, I'll give you my portent if you think it'll hit. It might. 12 plus 6 is 18. Fair enough, yes. Let's yes. go. Do you want Fairgood's inspiration also? Fairgood, are you cool with it? <laughs> go for it. Reroll your, right. re your second attack. Wait! Ah, balls. Okay. Damn it. Hold, hold, hold on to that. What up? Because they need to make a strength save or be knocked prone. And then one of these fuckers is gonna face. Wait, right why is strength save? Because of the whip. He failed! Oh. So the second attack has. So, okay. So he's branded, first of all. So he's he... glowing like a motherfucker. He's visible to all of you. First attack deals that much damage. Okay. I need to roll the extra for branding. Yeah, I need another 2D. Oh, I need 46 radiant damage. Are you smiting him, by the way? There's no kill like overkill, so sure. Okay, so I need 46 radiant damage plus however much smite you're doing. Um, I'm just going to go with the first level smite for now. Okay, so that's 1D8 plus your charisma? Yes, it's, no, it's a 2d8 for a first level slot. It's 3d8 against fiends. So it's 6d8. Roll that. Okay. Oof, okay. Uh, I don't think, That's a lot of high numbers. I, I don't think the charisma bonus applies, but... Oh, does it not? No, it's just a flat 2d8. Okay. Got it. Then your second attack has advantage, because he's prone, which what? hits and kills him. Good. Boom. This is the second one of these I fucking killed. <laughs> yes, it is. I mean, paladins are really good at fucking up fiends. <laughs> Woo! Okay. That's going to be your turn. Top of the round. <laughs> this is going to be really funny. Um, Fear Guy and Lash. What? 20 light cross, or uh, excuse me, six light crossbow attacks, three to each of you. Okay. Uh, the reality of all of that almost was 20 light crossbow bullets coming at you. What? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, so that is a three to hit, a six to hit, and a natural 20 on Lash, and a three to hit, a 12 to hit, and another three to hit on Fear Guy. The natural 20 is the only one that hits. Yeah, I figured. It's fine. Okay. So you're going to take... Seven points of piercing damage. Not a bad shot. What the fuck are you? And then... Three shots on Dawn. Eight, 13, and three. Get fucked, asshole. Okay. Kilio, it is your turn. Wait, what is? Is it? Yeah, I, I'm before oh. you, Dawn. Oh, they're not on the initiative. Yeah, you're missing. Yeah, no, they're not. Um... So, I can't see. Nope. I'm blind for... Let's see, that was one round. Three more rounds. <sighs> Dawn, if you could grant me sight, I can defend Earther from the ranged attacks. I mean, Lash just fucked up one real good. I can't see that. Yeah, valid, but uh, all Don has to say is be like, no, we got it, Kelio. <laughs> one has fallen already. 
I can't do anything. I'm helpless. I don't know what Kelly is going to do here. Okay. How wide is this gate entrance? 20 feet. 20 feet. And if I'm on the far right, five feet. Mm hmm. I heard you're through on the other side. Mm hmm. Could you hold your action for an audio cue? To do what, though? The orbs did not make sound. No, but you could probably shoot one of the crossbow boys. God, Actually, this that's fucking, a point. This, this fucking cultist gets up today, he's stuck with guard duty, and he's gonna get fucking shot by a blind halfling. No! Actually, <laughs> no! Actually, I, I, I refuse this injustice. We're not playing Crown of Fangs. Sound based perception check. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Fox. You don't tell the champions no. That's what this is an example of. Uh, Actually, I want to make a sound-based perception check. Yeah. I heard their crossbows go off. There's a bunch of dudes over here. There, There is a bunch of dudes over here, yes. I might, I might shotgun a bunch of arrows into that crowd. Fuck, <laughs> you are a bastard. Um, okay. You shot we are my... the champions of the north. We make the fucking rules. If you shotgun... Uh, here's, here's my sh sound-based perception check. Yep. Uh, okay, what are you... So... When you say these fools, where where are you pointing? Uh, the crowd over here, past Firga. Okay, there's a wall and a Firga and a lash in your way. Uh, you want to walk out first? I swear I... to God, if you shotgun these arrows, <laughs> I want to do it. I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, you're just kind of showed her up past them. Fuck you, Kelia Wolfwalker. All right. <laughs> yep. Damn, I'm, just I'm just saying the devils are the real threat. These guys are. All, if if I, I'm a I know this token. These are bitch boys. Yeah. No. Like, I, I I agree with yes, you. Yes, but Kelio can't hit the devils right now. I I want Kelio to shotgun this crowd while blind. I want to see how big Kelio's body count can be while blind. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, uh, <laughs> I think the funny part is, is that I think it's her pride right now. All of these attacks have disadvantage. Mm, I don't mm. think they do. You're blind. I had cast Zephyr Strike. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's a normal. I <laughs> Make sure you're rolling as fuck. Okay, first of all, fuck you. Second of Is all, make sure you're rolling as Kilio. Third of all, fuck you. Um. Wow. <sighs> Kit is just adding new stages to grief right now. <laughs> Rage, <laughs> anger, seething. You don't regret. understand. You don't understand. <laughs> you don't understand the fact that he hit three of them. <laughs> And one of them was a crit. <laughs> yes, uh, but so what I'm hearing is six stages added to grief. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the first three damage, you... Okay, cool. So the nearest cultist is dead. I need a noun form of gobsmacked. Roll the, roll the, the next one. Roll the, roll the second damage. The second cultist is dead. And the third damage, the cultist is not dead. There's a cultist underneath one of the chupacabras, I think. Oh, is there? Uh, the, the lower dead one. one. Oh, yeah, so there is. Okay, cool. Did he get crushed by this thing or did it poof? Uh, well, they're ethereal. Fair. Oh, and I'm going to step back into the corner. <laughs> You have a second attack! 
Oh, wait, you are absolutely right. <laughs> These do not have advantage, but I'm going to do another one. If you're going to do it, then do it, motherfucker. Go big or go home. Don't be a coward. Okay. That's okay. why I'm disadvantage. So what? Disadvantage. Okay. Two of those hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that cultist is dead. Ignore the force. Oh, he's still dead. And not dead. Okay. Goodness, Kimia. Okay. <clears throat> so, Lash and Firga, you, like, over the din of battle, you heard, like, Dawn, I can't see. And then you heard the sound of a bowstring firing, and just three of the cultists went down, and a third one went to his knees, clutching his side. Are you sure you can't see? <laughs> no! <laughs> well, you just killed three people. Good job. Good, I'm not so helpless <laughs> after all. I am not wasting my magical strength if you can do that blind. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kilio's adding to her legend. Go ahead, Don. <sighs> In the Rehegic tongue, fuck off. <clears throat> mm hmm. Uh, okay, so better give me an aura. Beacon of Hope. This oh, never spell... mind. That's, that's click and choose. Choose uh, any number of within of range, which is 30 feet. Yep. All uh, of us. Each target has advantage on wisdom saving throws and death saves, and regains the maximum number of hit points possible from in and regains the maximum number of hit points possible from any healing. Life clerics are dumb. Um, so this is just a cleric damn. spell in general. Life clerics are banned. Um, <laughs> <laughs> This is just a cleric spell in general. I just happen to have it always prepared because I'm a life cleric. Yes. All have Spanish on the cow. But have you considered fuck you? Um, have you have you considered fuck the halfling? They did more than. Have that. you considered this applies to all healing spells and not just Dawn's? Yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> but from Dawn's healing, Dawn also gets even more. You, okay, who are you healing, motherfucker? Ah. Uh, now don't hit me. I don't know why I'm back away from my screen while saying that. Because <laughs> oh. I'm just that powerful. But, so so don't don't hit me now. But um. But um. Who are, who are you healing? Yes. <laughs> fuck <laughs> shit. Okay. Fuck. Okay. So, uh, what's the maximum amount of healing that spell can do? That. Okay. Uh, so everybody gets healed for fourteen. Okay. <laughs> and, and Dawn gets healed for fourteen plus. That's a fourth level spell. Third. <clears throat> So five, uh, so 14 plus 25. Wait, so it's three plus the, or two plus the spell. Level. Level. Per person. So yeah, per person. So that is five, me included. 25. Is that? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, okay. So oh, you get, maxing me out. So you get healed for 39, the hunt. <laughs> I'm I'm back to full. <laughs> yeah, of course you are. Fucking life cleric. Okay. Now, we can hope it's concentration. Yes. Keep that in mind. That's your turn. Yes. Uh free action. I'm gonna flip one of these things off. <laughs> okay. I don't care. I... <laughs> Firga, you saw one Thank of these you. things become visible and then Lash destroyed it. Again! <laughs> Oh, that, that reminds me I needed to make a concentration check for call lightning. Yeah. Aha. Aha, you have advantage. This is the uh -huh. second time I've done this. So yeah, free action. Firga just turns to Lash and she's like, Oh, uh, uh, ignore the four. I don't think Lash how is did in you, range anymore. How did you do that? And no, then she turns is. to Kilio and says, How did you do that? Um. So, er. Uh, mm. Either way, with advantage, that's a natural 20. Yes, it is. Hell yeah. Okay, so remind me, were any of these guys skirmishing? Was actually the was answer skirmishing to, to, with Dawn right. or Irithyr or anyone? 
Um, or has he just been pew pewing? The two in the back have been pew pewing. The one on the on the left bottom has been skirmishing with Dawn. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wheel popcorn around here. Okay. That should be plenty of run up to get a um, boop charge attack in. Okay. Because it seems like it's there somewhere, so I'm gonna go for it. Disadvantage. And that is a plus five to hit. There you go, Kit. Made you something top of your list. Top of my list? If you if you open up the journal, top thing. Money. Oof. Conditions. Yo, thanks. Does not hit. <clears throat> so yeah, I would end up. Five, 10, 15. You ask for those so often. Thank you. So. I suggest taking a shot with Scout before you run up. Okay. So you don't have disadvantage. That's... I mean, you do have disadvantage anyway, so never mind. Okay. I'm gonna take a shot in a moment anyway. Yep. Well, yeah. Okay. So I think I would stop here. Whoops. If you're gonna move away from him, he's gonna swing at you. If you're gonna move away from him, he's gonna swing at you. I didn't say I was moving away from him. I overshot my token. There you go. So what are you trying to do? I am charging straight at him. The attack missed, but I still end up there. Right. And I'm gonna shoot at him with a cannon. Okay. Uh, and then swing at him with the axe. Oh Stop God, going dude. over there! Uh, it... What? I... don't understand how I'm supposed to swing at him with the axes if I'm not over there? That's who I was charging at. I'm confused you were okay. here you were you were right here beside lash uh-huh excuse me lash i'm gonna put you down one square for the sake of it uh -huh. you then said you went up here to this square and did a charge attack there's a dude right here oh i see i thought you I were thought attacking this was... dude <clears throat> no i was trying to attack the one down by dawn so you never came up here. I Cause, was because you came up here, then you rolled the charge attack, then you moved. I I stepped up because I the way I was, if I wanted to attack Dawn or the one next to Dawn, I would have hit Dawn in the process. So you're gonna charge this guy? Yes. Then you're absolutely taking an attack. Why are you moving up that far? Why not down one tile? Wall? No, I meant like... To the space right below where Kafirka currently is. That's where she was before. I was under the impression that this guy was flying. No, they're all on the ground. Oh. I said the, the freaking thing shook when they jumped down. In fact, none of them have been flying this fight. Oh. Well, consider me a dingus then. Um, in that case, she probably would have gone. Yeah, so doesn't uh, have the little like fly token. In that case, she would probably would have gone after this one. Okay. Did I make a flying token? In which case, in which case, she would have stopped. Whoop. Where I had her. Yeah. So shoot the the cannon. Goodness gracious. Misses. And then I'm assuming you want to follow through with an axe attack. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> Still at this advantage. You haven't revealed him yet. 
I haven't called for the war banner, by the way, because none of these attacks were close enough that it would matter. I have a dumb thought, but I'm not going to call it retroactively. I was right Does... on Nick's Lash when I did those shots. <laughs> Roll the war banner, please. Loot. That'll hit with the war banner. He passes the save, though, so that's still that much. It's a good hit. They do not like your axe. Okay, is that your turn? I, that, I'm assuming that's everything. Okay. <laughs> You're a fear. Okay, now I'm mad. Arl's song is still dancing in your head. Hold on. I don't think Bigger was finished. No, just until literally two seconds ago, this guy was sitting here. No. At no point was he over there. That is weird because it was for me. Okay. Roll 20 glitchiness. All right. This explains why I was so damn confused. Carry on. Ah. Uh. Who? What do I want to do here? You want to call down more of Arl's magic is what you want to do, lest she turn the storm on you. What's the worst that happens? You get a blue arm and then you join her side? Oh, boy. You know you want to. <sighs> do you have something else I can do nine, or excuse me, 12 D10? No, but... But... God. Do I want to accept this power? I don't think you're giving, being given an option, <laughs> unfortunately. Ah, uh, you know what? Make, the better question is, what happens if you refuse? True. Look True. at the worst case. Death. <laughs> Look at the best case. You get ignored. Look up petty bitch in the dictionary. I'll wait. <laughs> don't don't oh, you yeah, lie and like... say specifically Arl shows up. Any goddess will show up. Most yeah, but... Faerian gods. Okay. Are yeah, petty bitches. Wow, valid. Arl is the goddess of petty bitches. Something something high school. I think Arl would give Aphrodite a run for her money. <laughs> so. You grant me power, witch. Don't, don't be upset when I eventually turn it on you. Uh, all right. Uh, we're gonna call. Uh, use our action to call lightning on another dude. Cool. Uh, I Which think dude? I'm gonna do it on this one. All right. Don's dance partner. I uh, pat. No, he didn't. He failed to save. Yeah. Uh, okay. The DC is 19 because you upped it. Yep. So right. roll that roll that six dice of damage. Jesus. Do that... we get a blast of chill when the lightning strikes? Oh yeah. So twenty-four points of lightning damage and twenty-four points of cold damage. So the the lightning crashes down and then from beneath ice crystals form up around this thing and then shatter again. And it recoils. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm going to move back a bit. Okay. Good choice. I don't know if that'll grant me cover or not, but. Uh, yeah, uh, that's my turn. Okay. The Lunar Devils. They're pretty smart. They're gonna make a morale check. Woo! Because you guys are using tactics against them. 
You're smart. Fuck you. We're smarter. That was a natural 20. Okay. <clears throat> God. My so dumb ass all was three of them collective. are going to use their summon devils feature. No. 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 Fuck. Counter spell. I don't know if it's a spell or a feature or just like something they can do. Also, you I... activated my trap card. Fuck you. Also, I unprepared yeah. counter spell. Fair. It's a it's a feature, oh. unfortunately. So, yeah. um, well, there we go. We had a good run. Boop. Well, we did our best, folks. Boop. Oh God. And you see them take form. They all become visible, and then they all vanish. Because I got a natural 20 on my morale check. Just loudly That's shit. That's not fucking fair. Flash loudly shit. Flash, it is your turn. To Do properly... they vanish vanish? Or can I still see them with the invisibility? You cannot see them. Flash is going to go back against the nearest wall. Shield in front of her. Action held to fucking rail on what on the near on the next thing that tries to hit her. Okay. They left. I don't know where to. Kilio. Uh, so I don't know they left. You do because Irithir just said they left. Irithir is still blinded. No, he's not. No, I'm not. I passed my con save. Irithir was never blinded. Oh, I'm sorry. The token is really small on my screen. They have an eye token. I have the eye with an X. Yeah. What are you doing? Sniff the air, hear the reloading of crossbows. I'm gonna roll. Uh, the hearing base perception. Oh, you are such a bitch. Yep. Mm hmm. Oh, that's right. They're reloading the crossbows. Yep. Uh, okay. Mm hmm. That's what you roll. <coughs> uh, excuse me. You're so fucking angry. Ste step up here. And I'm angry because he's making accurate ranged attacks while blind. Normally, you can mend these feats of bullshit. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna shotgun over here. Shotgun over where? Sorry. Okay. You have disadvantage. Fuck your disadvantage. I have five attacks. <laughs> okay. Three of them hit, you bastard. Ah! Eat shit. Oh, excuse me, two of them hit. I was at your perception. Can okay. I war banner? Yes! Yeah, actually, I need the war banner. That was for the first Five. one? Uh, no. Only two will matter. So three hit, not two. Ah. Nice. So the first guy takes that much. Okay. Second guy takes that much. And the third guy takes that much. Okay. Yep. Okay. Good. Dawn. Hang on. I'm not <laughs> done. Oh, shit. Yeah. They're getting another volley. Of course they are. She's going to run out of arrows at some point. I'm going to need one I'm, war banner. I'm tracking them, don't worry. Look, look on the bright side, there's no way that they, they can land a volley, another volley of this size to this advantage. Okay, three hit. I take that back. All three of them are dead. Choke. All right, Mr. Blind Archer. Yeah, the funny thing is I can salvage some of these errors, and I have um, three quarrels of, of 20 in, not three, uh, three quivers of 20 on each of the wolves. Okay. Dawn. Okay. Cool. Oh, I don't like the situation we're in. That's why Lash's back is against a wall.
You know? Hmm. In the few years I've been on this earth, I've had quite a few bad ideas. Each square is 10 feet, right? Yep. Well, let's make another, know? let's make another bad idea. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. The doors are closed and locked. Make an athletic check. Uh, how about a goring rush? Oh, I can't goring rush. I only have one horn. Yep. And also, you that... also you really do not want a goring rush a fortified door. There. Make sure your rolling is done, by the way. Ah, uh, damn. The Sorry, I reloaded. Uh, so <laughs> it's more like here, and then you're on your butt. Right. I'm gonna get up. Okay. That was your action. Oh. That would not have happened had I known that. God damn it. What? Trying to bust something open is an action. It's always been an action. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think that through better. Do you have a bonus action? The good news is everybody's at full health. So, no, I don't have a bonus action. I tell you what's interesting about that, though. Like, like jokes aside, you made it to the door. Was Dawn expecting to hit Demon? I mean, yeah, Irithyr said they're gone, and Dawn's like, ah, bullshit. They've avoided your wizard shit. And getting yeah. to the doors was mostly just a test of that. Yeah, you got fucked by the door, but you hit door. Which is something. You know what? Stand up. Pat. Just like reach out. Pat, pat door. Mm -hmm. No, nope, Kilio, I think they are really gone. Fierga. All right, if they're gone, I'll take your word for it. Uh, let me do some measuring. Five, ten, five, when I can six, see again, I'm going to kill that halfling. Step around here. I'm gonna make a charge attack with okay. popcorn. I should land I'm, here. I'm, I'm gonna stop you right there. Uh huh. You come around with the ram. Popcorn lowers his hood and these th or head, and these three dudes like throw their crossbows down, put their hands up. Good, you fucking better surrender. In that case, back Mom. up. She does okay. like that I'm watching you gesture. Mm hmm And then she's going to make a uh Yeah, that's hmm. That's all the baddies she can see at the moment, right? Yep. I'm going to hold my action until one of them does something stupid or Dawn gets the door gets the door open. Okay. Irithir. Uh-huh. You have a problem. Yeah. You are empowered to kill those devils. <laughs> now the devils are gone. Uh huh. So in your head, the song stops, and you just hear this just like, it's not like an annoyed rage, it's just a <sighs> noise. Just somebody <clears throat> done with your shit. Yeah, disappointment. Make a wisdom saving throw, and that's gonna be the last shot of our episode. Uh, sure. Uh, I think I'm out of Lash's aura. So, uh, you are not. You're out of the, the saving throw aura. Is he out of the Beacon of Hope? Yes. He has a, he has a, and it, wait, is it a range or just number of targets and it's concentration? I mean, so that's he, my thing. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's you, what your thing means. gives it advantage on wisdom saves, doesn't it? Does it? You said it does. I mean, you have advantage then. Good luck beating our all save. Sincerely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um, we're gonna try it anyways. Hey, you still have an inspiration, so with advantage... With advantage, I got a natural 20. 
Okay, and that's the last shot of our episode. Cool. Get, nice. Get fucked, Arl. Okay. Um, well, that's our show. Uh, I need to prepare the rest of this keep, so that's a good place to stop. But also, oh god, Arl now knows the champions exist. Vader, give us a shout out. Greetings, everyone. I am the Journeyman Vader. I am a moderator on Kit's Discord and Twitch, and a streamer on Twitch myself. You can find me over on Kit's Discord, on Twitch at twitch.tv slash journeymanvader, or on Twitter at Vader Sidious. Nightfall, give us a shout out, please. Hello, I am Nightfall Gitsune. I do admin stuff things around the channel. If you need me, I'll be in the try and give me a hook, but I'm going to get out of here because my wolf is here and I want to snuggle her and spend time with her. Okay. Enjoy, friend. Gamzel, give us a shout out, please. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Guy Gamzelis, the bard of heroes, the teller of tales that need to be told. And there are a lot. Speaking of a lot of tales to tell, if you enjoy the content that Fox puts out and you're watching the VODs on YouTube, please don't be afraid to interact with the channel and help us spread Kit's favorite hobby and ours as far as we can. A like, a comment, a sub and a subscription, or a subscription, rather, will do us plenty. And until we meet again, have a fantastic rest of your night. To do Sibs, give us a shout out, please. Hi there, my name is Sibs143. I'm in no particular order, the head of Kit's art team. I am a moderator and a stage hand for Kit's Discord and Twitch. I am also, to everyone else, a friend, the drifter, and the one and only Technicolor Disaster. You can find me lurking on Discord and or in Twitch chat, but I'll be a little bit busy as my school semester is coming to an end. Other than that, have a great night, everyone. And hi to my friend who I convinced to maybe watch VOM tonight. Hi if you ever see this. Cookie's not here. You can usually find him over at these places. He's a good dude, but unfortunately he had to work late tonight and was unable to join us. He plays Guiding Wind, the shaman bro, who's going to be a big help against these things when he gets back. We can find him over here, and we're glad to have him. And wherever he is, I hope he's having a good time. Birchmila, finish us out if you would, please. Hey, I'm Birchmila, a.k.a. Gracie. Uh, I do art and things for Kit's channel, and I also love tabletop. So if you like either of those things, give me a poke. And for my part, as ever... I am the shop-eyed Kitsune, the teller of tales and the weaver of mysteries, the masked bard. This is the channel that is devoted to lore and storytelling, world-building, role-playing, and discussions of those things. So if that's to your fancy, you're an excellent company here, and I do hope that you enjoy your time with us. I stream every single day that my help me to do so when my internet is working, which it is currently down, unfortunately. I'm making these videos with local recordings as often as I can, and I'm hoping to get the internet fixed soon. We've got it narrowed down, I think, to when the major problems are, so hopefully we can get the last of them ironed out sooner rather than later. Thank you guys, as always for your patience during this time and i will be back to regular broadcasting as soon as i can believe me my mental health needs it but for now as ever it's time to close the book on today and leave you with these parting words from myself my keepers and those joining me on the stage this evening to all of you the regulars the followers the newcomers and the lurkers whether you're just having a seat by the fire or you've got a running tab at the bar remember there's always more stories to tell and hopefully i'll see you all next time as we heed the voices of the mountain with a new chapter Good night, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by, and hope to see you again very soon.